Hey guys! Oh, hey the police pause the here. The is here, guys. We're, Happy Monday. We're back, guys. New York City style. We are, and oh, Hudson just—he hey caught it. He caught Tremendously it. Tremendously gifted. Guys, this, if you remember, this is the New Yorker puzzle that Oz Fly Girl sent us. It's a beautiful puzzle. <laughs> Check it out. It's a tenement building, and there's little doggos. Nick James, G in the house. James, look at the, all the little doggos in guys, the window. Guys, look at this puzzle we're doing. It's a New Yorker magazine cover. Windows Oz full Fly of doggers. Doggos. Nick G's the first life. Nice job, Nick G. ARB in the house. Happy Monday, James Carla. Oh, watch out, Birthday Hudson's boy, balls. Hudster. James wants yeah. a, Hudson wants another treat. And uh, Danette, popping in. Hey, Danette, how are Danette, you Danette, we got your Christmas card back in the mail that we sent you. Danette, when we came back to New York, we had some mail that had piled up. And one was your Christmas card. said, return to sender. Yeah, wait a minute. And Joe see. Maligas. So, Danette. Yeah, see, go go find it, hun. Well, I don't want to show their address. Hey, MG Mustang 05. Vincent Padgley. MG Mustang 05. Good afternoon. Right back at Okay. Danette and Anthony, I don't want to show the address because I don't know. And there's our address. Uh, return to sender. Yeah. Insufficient and Danette, address. And like, insufficient address. And I know I got it right. So I, I have no idea. Maybe other what, things we've mailed is, you know, yeah, are mean, still out there. Christmas cards, guys. Yeah, so so guys, if you never got a Christmas card from us, I, I, obviously don't take it as a diss. They're, they're circulating back in April. <laughs> hey, Sharon D. Pasquale. Lori back. Luan J. celebrates 11 months of membership. Oh, Yay, good. back in New York. I'm going to show you our view in a second. Yeah, the post office tonight is crazy. It's bananas over there. They got a uh, Hudson's coming up on the table, guys. No, 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 James, James. Hudson is gonna... up on the table. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, oh, oh no, Hudson, no. you okay? Oh, what happened? What happened? He slipped off the table. Oh, He's fine. Are you okay, sweet boy? Hey, Nick G. Hudson. Yeah, send your send your e address, email address. I mean, send your mail address, Danette, yes. on an email. James will get it right sooner okay. or later. Just Hudson hang in there. Hudson seems fine. That's what it's important. Hudson's fine. Nick G's in here. Vincent Padula. R.J. Wordheimer. The, the, yeah, email us your address again. I still haven't gotten my gold bar, Nick G. said. Yeah, we're mailing that. Nico Kuzman in the house. Lori Lou N.J. 11 months of membership. Awesome job. James? Post office bananas. Joe so, Maliga, if you're out there, if you're coming in later, your card came back also. But and we I know, know the address is pretty right. Right, because... Stuart Bryce, so Sharon now I have to put, ARB. I have to put... Vincent, uh, this emoji game is strong. Jason Morris popping in. Hey, Jason. I'm trying to get everybody in the, on the count. R.J. Wertheimer popping in. John David. Hudson's okay. Yeah, he went to his bed. He yeah. said... Uh, Carlo Pasaleo popping in. Hudson just took a little tumble. I tumble for you. But he's Asher okay, Dash. guys. Asher Dash, 12, popping in. St. Olaf Paul Sweet Hudson. Rosalind Brown. Hudson is more than okay. Okay, <laughs> Hudson so... Hudson took a little tumble. He's waiting I tumble for, his treat. for you. Jonathan David, I'm going to give Hudson a treat for that little tumble. I have to get, I, I don't even know what happened. Let me show here. you the, uh, the Hudster. He's on his bed right, right he's here. Like, he's like, oh God. He gets what a did treat. I do? What did I do? Yeah. What's crazy is your card came back to us too. But that's it. That is nuts. Yeah, so it's a, it's a whole thing. There's the view today, looking at out at the Lower East Side. East Village, Financial District, downtown Manhattan, Wait, uh, on a beautiful 70-something, 70 74, I think now, for God's sake, I don't even have, spring I, day. James, this, this was complete. Emily right? Gangadine and, and Sam, Nick G. The weird thing is, Anthony, this was, um, pop it in. This puzzle was okay, and now I don't have the pieces. For Hudson me. slipped. I got nervous for a minute. Yeah, he's okay. He's okay, guys. Yep, Jason Morris asking, did you get my email? Yes, we did. We're just yeah, trying just to answer all that stuff. Back yet, yeah, we got over a thousand that. emails waiting for us. We're, we're, we're trying to catch up, Jason. Thanks for that. But I did see your name there. Absolutely. Uh, Emily Gangadine and Sam, I mentioned. Tom, why do I have my glasses off? Tom Subjance popping in. He's testing gravity. You know it. Anthony in the house somewhere. Hey, Anthony, Danette. Uh, let's see who else. Uh, DC322. Two, two. So now the Mark popping in. Oh, no, Carlos not upset with you about the jersey comment. Mark, you're fine. You know that. You've been around long enough to know. Carla doesn't get upset. James, Wendy popping in. Hey, Florida Wendy popping in. C-A-K-813. The problem is, is 
that now I can't get this back together. All right. So, but, you know, I'm not going to worry about it. The window is filthy, guys. We got back to New York. The window is dirty. You got the sirens going. Busy BNY in the house. Somehow this Ethan G. Correct Welcome aboard, Ethan G. Marcel Marie Mayero. Mayero. Patty Combs. Hudson's embarrassed. He fell in front of all his friends. Yes. I think he is. There goes the uh, ambulance down there. FDNY. Doing what the FDNY does. Janice S. Let's go back over and see if we can help Carl at all. But you see, the, the problem is, is now, I had, the, I had the edge all done, and now I can't seem to get it back together. Well, that's what Hudson does. Hudson's always in those thicker things. Hudson is always, always good to go. Carlo Pasolio, I miss New York. You know, Al Ma Mamoun. Now I have two end pieces that I don't have any. Pazoglo. Pazoglo. James. in. It's so weird. In the in the thumbnail, was it complete? Because I don't yeah, even remember. Yeah, beautiful out today. Josh Dean, Hudson's fine. Uh, I don't even remember. Ivan Music Man popping in from Norway. Skoll, I think you guys all stay over there. And my mom is sending you guys a package also, LD Original. Oh, that's nice. so sweet. Thank you, LD Original. So, Scott Bagley. I think I said hi to Scott. James, um, I, 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 if I, I missed honestly, you. I am very confused now. It is just James now. doing what James does. So I have no idea what what happened here, but somehow the I don't I have extra edge pieces. Yeah, DC three two two is happy. We're all back in New York. James, so somehow I have extra edge pieces, that. Yeah. I I really. I'm I'm flummoxed. The edge shaving foam, Carlos talking about. No, but uh, this is the puzzle we're doing. We got some stuff to show you today. Some neat stuff. I don't really Jack know Rapp. what went on. Got in the house. Hey, Jack Rapp, take your coat off. Stay a while. I'm so used to seeing Carl in Florida doing the puzzles. Yeah, Vincent Padula. It takes him out. Now we have the Hudson Neon back. Beach Bum 88 popping in. Margeline! Thank God Margeline's in here. I need her help. Scott Bagley. Yep. And uh, Jack Rapp, welcome aboard. Oh, see, I don't know where these came from. So bizarre, right? The YouTube is also a little, uh, you know... All right, so I'm not going to worry about it. I'll just leave those <laughs> on the side, mm -hmm. and we won't worry about it because I can't worry about gotcha, it. Gotcha, CAK813. So hey, Carol, popping let's get, in. James, I'm going to move these props off to the side because I need to start working on the puzzle. Yep. Okay. Carl's got to get cooking on the puzzle, guys. We got the Hudson Neon lit. We're waiting for everybody to get in. We'll be doing trivia, of course, today. I don't know if this is one that I had put together we will that be I doing put back in the box. Trivia. Any, anything's possible, right? Round of applause from the studio audience behind me about the trivia. Extra good, right, James? Yeah. Why don't I so, hey, Joseph Taylor popping in, holding down New Haven, Keith Havens in the house. Guys, why don't I show you, because you're the early birds. Look, we got our copy. Our photos are included in this beautiful book put out by the MTA on Monticelli Press, Contemporary Underground, MTA Arts and Design, New York. Contemporary Art Underground. Our photos are in here throughout. Let me show you one spread that has our photos. Here we are. There's Mark Fox. That's us. Right, Dave? Yeah, but I think they want to see the puzzle. Find the find yep, the things first, us. and then focus. Yep, there they are. And uh, it's a beautiful book. If you guys are into the current art scene underground, put out together by the MTA, it's a great place to start. Our photos are featured. Extra and, uh, good, extra, extra Beautiful good. reproductions, beautiful hardcover book. Right, so then you can see kind of like that's um, some, hey, of the, Morales. some of the pho photography. Do, and that one we live streamed. Remember that one we live streamed Mark. from the when Mark, we, I'm holding it. When we did that uh, shoot, James. Yep. We went. Thanks, uh, Wendy. We took them. We took. We our, walked back. Uh, guys, we, when we, we showed, did those photos, I just showed you the spread. We we after we, we finished, live streamed the walk back. No, but we also showed the the, the artwork. Yeah. Exactly. That exactly. was in uh, Wakefield, right? Exactly. Wakefield, the Bronx, right up by the uh, Westchester border up there. 
Correctamundo. We left our apartment. It was 70. We got up to the northern Bronx. There was snow on the ground. <laughs> it was snowing. I think so James, far north. I think James is, is you know, he might yeah. be uh, embellishing. It was like a Jack London novel. He there. might be embellishing a bit. So he embellishes a little bit. Hope you all had a good weekend. We sure did. Yeah, Scott Bagley, very sick book. Sick meaning good. Yeah. <laughs> I see Hudson's Pizza Toy, Vincent. You got that. Brenda Nelson just popped in. Hey, Brenda. I hope the uh, hobby shop was excited. There's stickers now featured on the Pedro's South of the Border Spark Plug of Fame. I hope they're excited. Hope you're excited. Hope everybody had a good weekend. Say so, hello to everybody in the hobby shop. I have to figure out, I think I have to figure out the best way of completing this puzzle because a lot of it's going to be looking the same. Yes, Nick G. And I think what I have to do, James. I'm sending a package for a birthday boy Hudson soon, Wendy said. Oh, awesome, guys. This is what we decided, and, and we'll probably announce it a couple of times, is that we're going to have an, uh, a dedicated... <laughs> We're going to probably Nick. do some uh, recorded unboxings. Thank you to everyone that's already been sending things for Sweet Boy Hudson, including um, Vincent Padula. Yeah, he but said we're going to do the unboxing later. No, no, because we're going to have a special birthday celebration. I want to have a special birthday celebration for uh, Hudson. And I want to bake something for Hudson. I want to, like, make, make it, it a special. Party. A real party that yeah. you can all be invited Carol to. Carol went into a beautiful old bookshop in Brighton today. And they had our book. Oh, wow. It's been there since 1905. Oh, Carol, that's cool news. Definitely great news. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Yes, that's we're going to have... Uh, in the UK? Yep. Oh, wow. Guys, i got to walk back and grab something back there. So that's what I think would be best for to celebrate, to celebrate all things Hudson, is to have a special live stream of, you know, all the birthday gifts... What do you need, James? Uh, Mr. Bill. Oh, I, 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 that's buried in there, James. I don't, I think that would be a bad idea right now. Here comes Hudson, James. Hudson wants something. All right, I'll give Hudson something. I think that might be a little too much, James. Yeah. We'll prepare that. You know, we're just getting settled into everything, so it's hard to find everything that we, that we need. What do you got there? A little bag of chips for Hudson. All that and a bag of chips. So everybody that's worried about Hudson, don't worry. Look, look where, look where he is. He's back. He's the embarrassment is over. The embar the enchantment. Carla, Sammy's birthday is tomorrow. He's turning one year old. Oh, Emily Gangadine and Sammy, Emily. nice job, AJC. Hey, Should we sing an early birthday to Sammy? Yep. Happy birthday, birthday to, to Sammy. Sammy. Emily, Sammy. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to Sammy. <laughs> Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to Sammy. Pre-birthday. Pre-birthday to Sammy. Sammy. And Hudson's here too. I don't work on Sundays. They, fi they fired Nick G from the, from the uh, ice cream job because he doesn't work on Sundays. <laughs> Nick G, got us off on a good start. Hudson, you want your lazy doggies? No, he wants a bacon treat. I'm going to throw Hudson a bacon treat, and then he's going back on his bed. Okay, good. So Hudson's, Hudson is, is no problem from the fall. For, I, yeah, mean, I know that, that people... Later. Guys, we got Mr. Bill. You'll find him later. Yeah, we, we don't... I think, well, you know, everything is... We uh, got a huge pile of Hudson toys. Yeah, we haven't even unpacked everything. Guys, we haven't even our, unpacked anything. You know, from our trip yet. Yeah, bag of lazies. That's what I've been called before, guys. Joseph Taylor in the house. Welcome so yeah, board, just everybody. give us a chance to get you know back into the swing of things. I would say, right? Backing back with my manatee hands. Josh Dean said, "Yes, we're gonna do trivia. You know that. Nice, a Hudson party. I would love Hudson's birthday party. Yes, Vincent. Oh, Hodgel. good, Vincent. I thought that was a a good idea, just to dedicate you know time for Hudson. Yes, no, Joe. I got it, Nick G. I got it, Nick G. Did uh. Nick G, guys, Nick G got fired from his ice cream job because he doesn't work on Sundays. James, Hudson's waiting for a treat. Hudson, I gave Hudson a treat. He wants more. All right. Did anyone catch the Billy Joel concert last night? Unfortunately, we did not. T.A. Tickler saying on this date in 1912, the Titanic sank. Oh, wow. Here, Hudson. 
And that's it for now, baby. JD here, popping in. Yes, you can do two questions today, Joe Taylor. You're always a... We make special uh, codicils. That's weird. In the uh, trivia... I want to make him a puppy cake, but I'm not sure how to make it doggy friendly. Emily Gangadine and Sam said. Oh, I have a recipe. Hey, I Michelle have a recipe Martin. up on our... Uh, if you... Uh, go back on our community page from last year. I put up a recipe for peanut butter and banana uh, pup cakes. Yes, Brenda, so this is what you Carlos... can you can adapt it to do a, a larger cake. So um, if you don't if you if you don't mind searching for it, That's I definitely put up a, a recipe that it's easy. It's like peanut butter and, and bananas and some flour, and it, it, it turned out great. Hudson, yeah, Hudson loved, loved it. it. So it would be from like a year ago. You'll have to search back, scroll back on our community page, yeah, and I, I definitely put Jack. up the recipe. Yes, Carlo will put up the recipe. No, guys. no, I did already last year for it. Gotcha. So Emily, can you uh, scroll back and get that recipe? Hudson's playing with his lazy bones. Go to Petco or PetSmart sells dog baking mixes for dogs too. I know, but that's it's fun to do it from scratch. Hey, Rob, checking in from Ohio. Last Saturday night, I cooked hamburgers for my family. Rob, that's a fantastic job. I bet they were delish. Oh, look, oh, look, Hudson looks so cute playing with his chip bag. Yeah, he's playing with his chip let bag. Me, let me let me get up and, and oh, get that. Yep. Yeah. Welcome aboard, everybody. Hope you had a good weekend. It's Monday here. We're just Hudson. getting uh, back into the groove here in the city. We already did some work. <laughs> everybody wants we to see We already did Hudson. some work. Good boy. We'll let him play off camera. Guys. He'll, he'll play off camera with his chips. You've waited three months. You've waited patiently for three months. Here you go. Oh my God! Oh my God! It's a man! I should have something! Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God! Okay. <laughs> oh, Vincent geez. Vincent Padgett said, Car Carlos, dog-friendly baking recipe is I might make it for me, maybe. Yeah. yeah, exactly. It didn't have any sugar. So, uh, you know, it, 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 you know, if you don't mind things not sugary, it would work perfectly. Right. So guys, this is the book. We'll be showing you some more during the day. MTA book just came out. Our photography is featured. There's tons of photographers in here. It's not just our photography. It's a lot of them. Ah, that's what you up to. And uh, Hudson's playing. Let me show you Hudson, guys. Hudson. Where's your potato chips? Where's your toy? <laughs> He's like, I'm embarrassed. He's, I'm He's caught embarrassed. I'm caught playing. Here's the city. Have you guys ever been to the MTA Museum? Yes, we have, Nick G. Loved it. Loved it. We had a fun time. We'll live stream that someday. Well, we don't, I don't know if there's service in there. God bless everyone on this channel. Maria Augusta, I appreciate that. Thanks for that nice thought. Right back at you. Nice job, Maria Augusta. So, James, I think I'm going to just dump some of these out. This is a... Um, Cheeky I, Chops popping in. Lower East Side Cam, you got it. I just have to dump all these puzzle pieces out and just try to sort them. Is that, is that okay? Regulators. Warren G. Hey, Marty Lewis popping in. Look at Marty, a f familiar view. Down in the down in uh, the Lower East Side here, East Village, through our filthy window. Welcome aboard, Marty. Nice Hi, seeing you. you. Hope you're having a that. nice day. Got it. It's just a, a beautiful spring day. Me and Carla walked Hudson nice this morning, had a beautiful walk. We've been working already, guys. We got lots to do up here. We've got lots to do. You uh, know, we'll talk more about that later. So what I have to do is like 
Let me focus, I, Carla. I think at this point, it's this the it's a difficult puzzle. Hey, Connie Jackson. Because it's um a lot of a lot of things that look the same. So what I'm gonna have She's to do. She's from Fayetteville, North Carolina, huh? Remember, Connie? Oh, cool. We drove right by. Yeah. Yes, we're gonna be doing way. a celebration live streaming. Uh, for Hudson's birthday. And separate unboxing video. No, it's gonna be a celebration unboxing, Marjolene. Um, on not a puzzle day, maybe. Yeah, just to devote more time to it. Make it all about Hudson. Right, and, and do the baking a little bit. That's what we're going to be doing. We think that would be the nicest for Hudson to, to really celebrate hey, his birthday. Paul McDonough's in the house, son. Hey, Paul. Hey, Marjolene. Thanks for joining, yep. as always. Yep. Stuart Bryce, Emoji Game is Strong. So, what Paul do you, McDonough, where are you at right now? Where do you do you Hope think you're having a nice last book I read? Spot the dog, ages five and upwards. Paul McDonough, hey, you know. Yeah, so I'm not really sure. Does anybody, if you rewind the the live stream, was this edge intact? Like I I don't know. Really. Guys, Carlos asking if you rewind to the beginning of the live stream before Hudson made his approach up on the table and. Uh, upset the apple cart. Upset the apple cart and slipped and and slipped off there. Was the side puzzle over there done? Well, I mean, we took a photo, so we'll be able to figure it out. But yeah, um, you know, I'm wondering now because Hudson's a legend. Cheeky Chop said he is indeed. Where's Hudson? Connie Jackson. Let me show you Hudson. He is right on his bed, right there with Very his toys. Sure. He's probably gonna rest. We took him for a nice walk. Hey, CB. Hello, everyone. This is Jackie B. Jackie Brunette. Oh, Jackie B. Brunette. Well, Jackie, I want to let you know that um, we've been getting a lot of packages. Oh, Nick, she said, yes, it was finished. It was finished, yeah. yeah. That's, what, that's what I thought. So I'm not really sure what happened. But, uh, Jackie, what we wanted to let you know is that we decided to do a whole unboxing. Exactly, Jackie. Um, for Hudson's birthday. It's always all about Hudson. And. 100% of the time. I think that will be perfect. And we hope you guys uh, agree with that. Yeah, so I, I, I don't know. Yeah, to have a special um, Hudson Day. Yeah. I think that'll be nice. There might be one more puzzle piece on the ground then. Let me look. No, no, no. Don't, don't bother. I mean, I'm not going to worry about the edge right now. Yeah. I think I have bi bigger fish to fry with all everything that I have to do on bigger this Bigger fish to fry. We'll be doing trivia in a little bit, guys. Another 10 minutes or so. From Broward to Avenue B, Hudson is king. Cheeky Chops, nicely put. Nicely put. Yeah, so I think I have to... Um, Guys, we had a record waiting for us when we got back. If you're into the dance music, if you're into uh, what's going on, you know, in the Brooklyn club world, look at this, what was waiting. Three-piece vinyl, Danny Teneglia from Brooklyn in Miami. And it's a beautiful set. Shot some shots of Brooklyn in here. Compiled by Danny Teneglia. And amazing, amazing set. And each jacket is nicely uh, laid out with Brooklyn shots as well. See? You got That's the Brooklyn shots. And now it's waiting. That's been here since January. So we're so trying to work our how, way through everything. See how uh, backed, backlogged we are with yeah. our stuff, right? We're backed up. But Danny Teneglia, a legend. U.S. house music, tribal, techno, all that stuff. Does Mickey D still make fish fillet sandwiches? J.D. here, I do believe they do. We don't, but we don't go there, so... Amy Joe Johnson helps her with the Hard to puzzle. say. Maybe the chat can help us out with that. Yeah. No more fast food for James. No more fast food for James. ARB. Broccoli hey, says. Reverend Jenny popping in. James, Broccoli says. Broccoli says. Healthy food only for James. Why? Oh, right back at you. Yes, I say yes to live stream for unboxings. Yes, we're going to do that. Harlem makes it, Brooklyn takes it. Exactly, Cheeky Chops. I love that. New York City gal popping in. I just missed something else here. I do believe they still make uh, 
Bigger fish to fry, 14th Street and Avenue B, Manchan says. <laughs> yep, Reverend Jen, I got you. New York City gal, I got you. Is it disco? No. No. No, not disco. It is not disco, uh, Vic Vincent. Why don't you explain the genre? To no more sodium back? for James. Cheeky chops, you got it. James, why don't you explain the genre for people that are un unfamiliar? Yeah, New York Fire Department, you got it right across the street. Fantastic article in Blind Magazines. Well done, guys. Thanks for that. Reverend Jen says, Broccoli says, No more fun food for James. <laughs> but. <laughs> Rev Jen. I could still have a hamburger once in a while, JD. You know, I went well, from that's a treat, I went from you know. three a day to three a year now. So, uh, yeah, and again, Danny Teneglia, underground, global underground, number forty-five. This pressing was made in France. Danny T, one of our heroes. I'm gonna put this safely back over here. Carla, let them know what we're doing right now. Uh, the puzzle. The New Yorker, and it was gifted to us uh, from our wonderful channel supporter, Us Fly Girl, and we started it last year in November, and then, of course, you know, Christmas and the holidays and everything like that, so we got kind of sidetracked, but we're back at it. Back, back the, at it. Back in the groove, guys. You got it. All right, we'll be starting even trivia we, in a little um, bit. Even if we, like... Yeah, Vincent says, no salt, no fast food. He's in the same boat. I'm dieting crazy like a nut. Yeah, Vincent. I diet silly. Marie said your view is awesome. Oh, thanks, Oh, Marie. thanks, Brenda Nelson. Cafe I7 popping in. Welcome back. And Heidi and Ellie Sapella just gave us 10 euros oh, for Heidi. Hudson. Oh, Love that dog you. so much. Heidi and Ellie oh, Sapella. Let me show you, you the Hudson, Heidi. That is a fantastic He's job. Eyes, ben. No, thank you, Heidi. Hope you're feeling good. Positive vibes. Nice. Guys, Heidi, fantastic job. Boop. 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 Yeah. Boop. Three boops for Heidi. And there he is. It is Hudson. The legend. The one and only. James, Broccoli may have won the battle, but not the war. Exactly, Jack Rav. Me and Broccoli have a, uh, you know. I noticed the Broccoli is back on the refrigerator. Can they see that? Yeah. To remind James not to go raiding reading anything from the refrigerator Bro broccoli's prominently back on the fridge yep sometimes i hide it away like when things are going well but broccoli's back right broccoli's back wendy says guess who's, guess back? who's back broccoli's back broccoli's back broccoli's back <laughs> <laughs> jason Moore said king hudson is the best heidi very good job supporting that channel i agree mark thank and you and wendy said the rental car looked very nice yeah it worked out great yeah, it worked. It was. We worked. had a uh, 2023 Hyundai Tucson, and it was great. And it did a fantastic job. The only thing was Carla's seat lacked a little lumbar support. But I, I made do. It wasn't a major. Yeah, you just tucked the sweatshirt major, back there. You're good to go. Yeah, it wasn't a major uh, deal breaker. Good to go. Let me show you one more thing that was waiting, and then we'll try to start getting into trivia soon. <laughs> and uh, today we have Seinfeld and movie trivia. Seinfeld and movie trivia. This was waiting. I know a lot of people in this, uh, James, I've been eating like a rabbit. Sooner or later, I'm going to hop instead of walking. <laughs> Vince it. Yeah. I know how you feel. Hey, we, Connie. We hear you. James, I have a lock picking kit if Carla padlocks, padlocks the fridge. Jack Rabb. Ah! Noted. I'll call you late at night. And we'll arrange something to get that she up here. You might be needing your skill yeah. set. Yeah. Your skill set. Yeah, Manchin, White Tucson Hyundai. You got it. Damon Dunn, pop it in. Thanks again, Heidi and Ellie Sapella. Thank you again, Heidi. Welcome aboard. Guys, so, hey, Mr. Funkman, 05. Hudson, doing, uh, Hudson rocks the eyebrow raise. Yeah, he does. Oh, T.A. Tickler just did his own Q&A. Elaine slept with a matador. What was his name? Edward Caraccio. <laughs> Remember? Yes, you yes. Know, my, my boyfriend's a matador. Don't make the questions too hard, JC. We're going to keep it fair. 
The Korean cars are very good. I had a Kia and they were very decent. Yeah, Nick G, I, no, no, no major issues at all. Mark gave up salt 20 years ago. I gave up red meat 30 years ago. Mark, I got to hand it to you. I know it's tough. Extra good, Mark. CB said if I had a pet rabbit, I would name him James. CB. Ah. I love that. Vincent got Eglin Best Eggs in my warehouse yesterday. I got a big pack. They're oh, great nice. eggs. Yeah. That's Hudson what we use for our egg salad. Yeah, Stuart Price. James, that's what we use it for our yeah. egg salad. So, guys, I know you guys have a, uh, you know, this band here uh, polarizes some people in the chat. This came while we were going. It's a vinyl-sized U2, the complete lyrics. You get it when you belong to their uh, uh, fan, fan club. club. It's only available through that. And it's an absolutely beautiful, volume two is on its way. And, uh, I mean, it's just a beautiful, if you like U2, and it has excellent writing, excellent photographs, uh, lyrics, essays, drawings by Bono, of course, you know. Uh, and it's right that sweet spot where they got started. Um, just a fantastic book. Fantastic book. Beautiful photos. Let me show you one more drawing by the Bono of Larry. I think I have over here somewhere. Let me show you. I don't know. There it is. There's Bono sketch of Larry. This is only available through the uh, through the fan club. It was waiting when I got back up here from New York. It's the exact size of a vinyl record, so it stores easy and fantastic. Right, hon? Yeah, I mean, and that was cool how they how they did that sizing. Yeah. You know, we appreciate that. Lou Rodriguez, that. Carla James, I'm sad because I went there. I wanted to visit New York and wanted to go visit the cathedral, and I want to meet you guys in person and want to pet Hudson in June, but I won't be able to. Oh. Oh, Lou Rodriguez, just watching us, hanging out with us in the chat. Next best thing. You'll get here. You'll get here. Yeah, just, yeah. you know, like. Connie we... Jackson's got to go. We'll be right back. Thanks, Connie. Thank you, Connie. Yeah. James, with Carl by your side, you'll live to 120. Mark, I wouldn't rule it out. JD here made French toast and sausage for breakfast. Oh, oh that sounds great. Now, JD. JD. <laughs> oh, JD. Nice. Hope you guys are having a fun day. Like I said, we're going to do Seinfeld and movie trivia. The first question of the day is going to be by Joe Taylor today. Oh, we're going to jump right off the bat. Yeah, but we're going to start it in where we've been live a half hour. So we got two more minutes, Joe. Uh -huh. Get yourself all set and pumped prepped, up. Prepped, prepped, yep. prepped and ready. Nick G, I hit a, I have a test drive tomorrow for a Chevy Equinox. Hey, we rented that Vincent Paget. It was a nice, it was a nice ride. We were that was one of our rental cars. Remember, honey? It was. Yes. Yep. Bella Estrella, I believe, is in here somewhere. Just popping in. Bella Estrella, I see you. Joe Burgess, UK Joe Burgess in the house. And wow. Joseph Taylor, you have a minute and a half to get your first question of the day. Joe Taylor is our expert guest trivia contributor. He'll get two points right off the bat just for coming up with his questions. I look forward to it every week. So what I have to do, Let me write James, down Joe Taylor, two points. Is I have to turn over like every piece. Yeah. And I just have to take... I'll start helping you. No, no, yeah, it's just, it's it's all good. I have a lot to work with. It's just that... Yeah, it's a tough puzzle. This guys. is tough because it's a lot of brick and like this, it's it's hard Hey, to the just, Mighty Bull. Hey, Mighty Bull's Hanging in the room. Hanging out a bit. Boom, boom, boom. Mighty, mighty Bull's in the room. Boom. Extra good. Let's Thanks try it one joining. more time. Two, boom. three, four. Boom, boom, boom. boom, boom, boom. boom. Mighty, mighty Bull's in the room. room. Nice. Mighty Bull, hope you're feeling good today. Janice is making some more coffee. Nice job, Janice. That sounds like a perfect compliment to this. The goings-ons here. You got one minute, Joe, and then it's Joe Taylor, first question of the day. And we're doing, today we're doing, um, I'm going to be doing Seinfeld, of course. I mean, that's a given. And movie trivia. Seinfeld and movie trivia. Nick Johnson just sent us nine, nine, 99, 99 cents. <laughs> Thank Nick you, Johnson, Nick Johnson. Fantastic Thank you. job. Extra, extra good. Appreciate That's you watching. Thanks Thank for that, you. Nick Johnson. Fantastic job. Extra, extra good. Right, James? Yeah. Look at this beautiful picture, guys. Thanks, Nick. Nick Johnson. That's extra my, uh, good. Yeah. Pizza for Mr. Hudson. Thanks, Nick Johnson. This is, I, I, I'm a U2 guy. 
I gotta tell you, and I was so psyched to get this in the Danny Teneglia when we popped back in. Later this week, we'll do or later this week or when when we pick a date, we're gonna be doing a Hudson celebration for Hut April. Right, Drag be in the house. We'll Woo! announce. We'll we'll announce what day it is. We'll give everyone um plenty of uh. Hey Rob. Yeah, plenty Rob of had a, a thunderstorm in Connecticut, Ohio last night. Nice James, job, we'll Rob. We'll give everyone plenty of uh, advance notification. Yep. So they. We will you give know, you plenty of advance, and we'll be doing unboxings and baking. Yeah, it will be it will be a really fun live stream. It'll be a fun live stream. <laughs> James, hit me. I like manatees. Whenever I say hit me, I like manatees. He likes the manatee button. Guys, Joseph Taylor. Don't be a looker, be a liker. Help this channel survive. Thanks, Mighty Bull. Oh, that's cool. Guys, Joe Taylor, let her rip. Joe Taylor with the first trivia question of the day. Let's go, Joe. Let's get cracking. Crack the lacking. Right, huh? Yep. Nice. Nice. Yep. All right. Here we go. Hang on, guys. Hmm. Okay. There we go. Got that. Yep. Why don't you just put this down over here? Yes. Uh, wait a minute, Joe Taylor, because I'm I James stepped away. I got it. Let's see if Joe's got his uh, thing out. Did Joe? Oh, Joe Taylor. What was located where, I know this one, where the New York City Library at 42nd Street and 5th Avenue? What was originally located, this is our first trivia question of the day. What was located where the New York City Library is now at West 42nd at 5th Avenue? What was there originally? Let's go, guys. I think I see the correct answer, but you'll let me know, Joe Taylor. Handsome Pete popping in. My uncle used to draw cartoons for the New Yorker. Ah, oh, handsome Pete. No way. Oh, that's that is awesome. Fantastic. Do you have um do you have any of them framed like uh, you know, like I mean, I imagine they're pretty collectible, wouldn't you say, James? Yeah. Ambrose Chamber Pot. I knew it, Joe Taylor. Nice job. Ambrose Chamber Pot, first one on the board. Right after Joe Taylor's two points. Ambrose Ambrose Chamber Pot. Chamber pot starts the day. I usually hit with three. Let's do a movie trivia. Here we go. You ready for this movie trivia, hunt? You know it. All right, let's do it. Who played Mrs. Robinson in the movie The Graduate? Who played? Mrs. Robinson, you know the uh, mm -hmm. awesome Simon and Garfunkel song. Mm -hmm. um, who played Mrs. Robinson in the movie The Graduate? JD loved the New Yorker magazine. Got two that I went through last night. Nice. Oh, James, I sent my 15 month membership milestone. Wendy, 15 oh, months. Wendy, wow, fantastic job. Extra good, Wendy. Thanks for being a supporter. That's awesome. He had published awesome. some books, I believe, with his collections. Nice. Oh, that's Handsome so cool. Pete. That's awesome. That is so awesome. I love those. And great job, Wendy. 15 months. Extra, extra good. I got it, Brenda. Yep, the first person got it was CAK813 and Bancroft. CAK813, nice job. Was played uh, Mrs. Robinson in the yeah, Mrs. graduate. Robinson. Jesus loves you more than you can know. Whoa, whoa, whoa. CAK813, nice job. And Bancroft. Nice job today, guys. Guys, we're just getting settled into the city. We have a lot to unpack still. Mrs. Robinson, you're trying to seduce me. T.A. Tickler knows the premise of the movie. Hey, MN here. Popping in, MN. Welcome aboard. We're just getting trivia started. We always start with three right off the bat. Let's do a Seinfeld. What do you say, hon? Sounds good. A little smattering, you know. 
Whatever works best, Mr. James. Yeah, that's weird. That's one, that's two, three, four, and one, two. Hmm. All right, I'm going to do a, an easy Seinfeld. We all know Kramer got the license plate called Ass Man. Who was that? What profession was supposed to get that uh, license plate? That's a good question, right, huh? Easy. It's an, I want to start out easy today. Easy. Who, who did the Ass Man license plate belong to that Kramer got by mistake? Well, you can make it more difficult by asking the, the doctor's real name. Oh, well, now I messed it up. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Yes, that's that boy. Saying my... <laughs> How many pieces of the puzzle? Blue One Stella's. thousand. One, One thousand. thousand. It's Blue a big Stella. puzzle. It's a big puzzle, guys. Yep, One they got thousand. It. Ambrose Chamber Pot's on fire today. It's a... Basically, it's a four-way tie. Ambrose Chamber Pot gets a point. Okay. Okay. Ambrose Chamber Pot, Marjolene, my officiator, helping James out, got a point. Damon Dunn gets a point. It's a four way tie. Damon Dunn. And hang on. Hang on. Someone guessed radar. Josh Dean, nice. <laughs> <laughs> That's that boy. In uh, the last ARB. ARB. I got to be neat today. There we go. Nice job. It was, in fact, a proctologist. And Kramer ended up parking in his parking space. Remember in the security right, but now, guard? Now you need to know. Now we need to know the name of the I don't doctor. Know I don't know it. Do you know it? Well, I'd have to look it up online. Yeah. That's why I was holding back on that. <laughs> hey, but first coffee popping in. Brenda Nelson. Oh, I know. Asnap Boy's joking about butt first coffee. Because <laughs> it's a proctologist, you know. Yeah. Oh, don't sweat, Wendy. Hudson is relaxing. You got it. That was way too easy. Key thing. I, I thought so, too. I thought that was a very easy question. Did you hear the one about the proctologist who reached into his pocket, pulled out a thermometer, and said, oh, great. Somebody has my pen. <laughs> oh, no. Who said that? Oh, that was great. That was fantastic. Amen. I'm loving it. Brenda Nelson said, Sting sang a great jazz tune at the Billy Joel concert. Oh, nice, Brenda. Yeah, we're going to catch that. We'll catch it on the replay. I'm a huge Billy Joel fan. Carla is. Sting. Everybody. A fantastic job by uh, Sting and Billy Joel. T.A. Tickler good. needs a point. Okay. Marjolene, you got it. T.A. Tickler. So now you just get a point for needing one? Yep. No, he got it. Oh. <laughs> ARB is having Stoke Coffee. Stoke Coffee. There goes the FDNY again. Cafe Bastello, I am flying now. I'm drinking it now. <laughs> Vincent Padgel is all wired up. Hey, Enrique, saying hi to Carla. Thanks, Enrique, for joining. Let's do another... Uh, oh, look what I just found. Let's do another movie trivia. <laughs> movie trivia, guys. You ready? Sure. Surely. Love this one. In what movie does Tom Hanks score his first Academy Award? Nomination. What movie 
does Tom Hanks earn his first Academy Award nomination? What was the first movie Tom Hanks earned his Academy Award nomination? I love it. Love it. The Ambrose Chamberpots just said, uh, I got it, Josh Dean. I gave him a point. <laughs> MG Mustang, everyone's saying the sounds in New York. CBS is rebroadcasting the concert on Friday, 419. Thanks for that, Jeff and STNY. Oh, thank you for letting us Southern know. Southern Tier. That's awesome. Thank you. I guess there was a glitch in last night's. I'm going to give Jeff from Southern Tier, New York, Jeff STNY, a point. Thanks for letting us know, Jeff. MN got it. It is his first Academy Award nomination, honey. Big. Oh. Love that movie. Love that movie. MN, nice job. MN, got it with Big. That was a great movie. Took Some of the filming took place at uh, Rockaway Park, right? No, uh, what's that park called? In Westchester there? Playland? Playland. Playland, guys. Our local news cut away just as Piano Man was playing. People were irate. Oh, man. Oh, man. Handsome Pete. I would be irate. Anybody would. Followed up the next year for Philadelphia. Thanks, T.A. Tickler. Yeah, great movie, right, Lisa UK girl? Yeah, ARB, I love big. Such a good movie. Bella Estrella agrees. Guys, it's uh, let's check the temperature, and I'll show you the view. Right now it's 77. Warm. Humid Humidity is only 32%. Wow. Let's show you the view. Hudson's here on his bed. There he is. Here we go. Beautiful day in the East Village. Yeah, I love that one, man. Yeah, I love Castaway. Any, I like I like any of his movies, honestly. Little dirt on the window with the sun coming right through. I get to sleep on top of Big, JC said. Hey, CB. F.A.O. Schwartz, yep. Wendy in the big movie, love that. I want to I want to springboard off a question. That's not really a movie question. It's more a music question, hun. Off the big, okay? Whatever you want. What famous artist also filmed a music video at Rye Playland? What famous and I mean famous artist? No, you don't have to give more hints, James. Because yeah. I think that's an easy one. Yeah. Filmed a music video. At Rye Playland Park, where they also film Big. Let's go. Jack Rab just sent us ten dollars. Thank you. Oh. I've been waiting months for that view. Oh, Thank Jack Rab, us too. Thank you. That's us so sweet too. of you. Extra, extra, extra good. Thank Jack you. Jack Rab, fantastic job. We've been waiting to be back. It feels good. Back in the New York group. Yep. We're back. Yep. Yeah, I see some uh, answers. Jack Rab, fantastic job. ARB got it, Mariah Carey. You got it. ARB, nice job. Two points on the board for ARB. One from earlier, one from Mariah Carey. Fantasy. There's a Junior Vasquez remix yeah, of Fantasy out there that is devastating. Sweet, sweet fantasy baby. Do you see what I'm doing? I'm, I'm doing these, um, like, there's these, the trim around the windows yeah, the lintels. is more recognizable yeah. so i'm trying to work on that now because Fantastic. that's something that i can um you know find yeah. basically find <laughs> thanks mark asking everybody to hit the like button and subscribe that was fantastic very very kind jack grab yeah adp i love it adp i love fantasy by 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 uh mariah and um, the remix is fantastic. It was big that time. Um, the kids were going to Palladium, me and Carla, and, and they, would, they would every now and then drop that, that right. David Sanchez remix of that. And it just was fantastic. A massive buildup. And then drop on that. 
Here we go. Back to movies, guys. Movies. Movies, honey. Okay. You know, I'm trying to sort this out. It's not... Oh. Guys, I'm keeping these fair. This is an easy one. What was the name of the skyscraper in, in Die Hard? Ah, that's a good one. Yeah, that remix, right, Aiden P? It's With almost... that huge, massive build-up and it's then the drop. Like a, it's, a, it's a great question. Mariah Carey. Oh. I love that question, yeah. James. Yeah. What was the name of the skyscraper in the movie Die Hard? I did. We got Jack Rab, Margeline. Thank you, Margeline. We got it. We yeah, thanked, Jack Rab, fantastic Jack. job. He's loving the view. He was missing it. Yep, Vincent saying, guys, comment a lot. It helps the algorithm and like, thumbs up, and all that. Oh, and channel. thank you. Subscribing, nice. Oh, we got a three-way tie right off the bat. Nakatomi Plaza. Yes. Am I right? Yep. Someone's, Theodore Teet said Takatomi. Uh, I don't we'll think give, that's, um, I Theodore mean, that's Teet, a, I'm going to give you one. That's like a spelling thing, so. Yeah. Theodore T. We'll give you, we'll give it's you that. It's horseshoes and hand grenades. Margeline got a point in Nick G. Nakatomi Plaza. Nice job. One of my favorite Christmas movies. And it is a Christmas movie, guys. Fantastic. I'll be showing our view to get you back in there. Get you back in the uh, groove. The Godzilla building, Ambrose Chamberpot said. That's not easy for people like me who haven't seen Die Hard. And have no plans to. CAK813, not a Die Hard fan. Well, that's okay. You, there's other questions you can answer. Yep. That's, we'll why we, questions. that's why we have a, a, like a whole potpourri. Hey, Daryl Janik. Right, oh, James? let me show Jack Rabb Hudson. James, what did you say? It's, our, our, it's a potpourri of questions. It's a potpourri. Hey, Joe Burgess, been watching some old clips of Courtney Love of Hole. They played Glastonbury 99, the ultimate rock queen next to Madonna. Yes. Courtney Love definitely puts on a show. Ambrose Chamberpot also saw Die Hard, but it wasn't memorable. So some, some people who aren't into the Die Hard, it's a good, fun popcorn movie, I think. Oh, yeah. I think it's a good, fun romp. Popcorn, buttered popcorn romp. That was a leather chair like Kramer. Vincent Paget loves Godzilla. He's my favorite. Jason Morris, let it rip. Jason Morris is asking the next question. Oh, hey, look, Haas Manning. James, Hudson just popped up. I think everyone would like to see Hudson. Oh, he thanks, just, Haas Manning. Loves our energy. Says the energy is fantastic. He just popped up on the couch. He's on his pizza blanket, guys. I saw Die Hard but can't remember it. CB. See, a lot of people today. Guys, I, I'm, I'm, I, I fell for Die Hard hook, line, and sinker. Yeah, I thought they're fun, Marjolene. Marjolene thinks they're fun. Yeah. All right, Mark, here we go. You ready, hun? No, it's Jason Morris. Isn't no, no. It? Okay. Mark's been waiting for this. Oh, okay. It's uh, he's I been got, waiting. I got confused for three months. Mark has been rocking back and forth and clutching his head over this. Here we go. Oh my god! 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 Hudson beds look comfy. I want to sleep there. Vincent Padula said, "Give us some romantic comedy questions, Christmas movies." Here we go. I'm going to do a movie question. Try to get off the Die Hard. <laughs> Let's do uh Here we go. What was the first feature length, full feature, animated movie ever released? What was the first full length, feature length, Animated movie <laughs> ever got, ever released. I think he got a lot of uh And then Jason, we'll do your question also. Guys, we got two questions live right now. Who is inspiring for Seinfeld taking his audience before the show? Who is inspiring for Seinfeld talking to his audience before the show? Let me know who gets that one, Jason Morris. The other question we have running is what was the first full feature length animated movie? Who 
I know someone got that. Evan said, I'll never find the manatee button not funny. <laughs> Who likes the pink nose? Brenda. Brenda Nelson's loving the pink nose. The answer is the first person that got the movie question <laughs> is Theodore Teat and Nick G. Theodore Teat and Nick G. Cinderella. No, Snow White. I'm sorry. <laughs> Guys, I don't know what the hell I'm talking about right now. What are you talking about? I'm trying to get back in. It's Snow White. So, so Theodore T got it. Nick G did not get it. It was Cinderella. Marjolaine got it. Sorry, guys. Oh, James, you're just, you're all over the place. You need so, help. James. So Snow White was the first full feature length. And Tommy Boy got the full name. I'm going to give Tommy Boy a point also. James, you need help. Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. It's not Cinderella. James, what is wrong? Why do you keep on it's, and it's saying not the wrong things? Jerry Lewis, Cinderfella. Remember that one? Jerry Lewis, mm. Cinderfella. James. Guys, we're going to... You seem like you're all over the place, yeah, James. Yeah, guys, I need to take a breather here. Yeah, Brenda Nelson loves Hudson Nose. Oh, Mighty Bull's asking, what did a bull... What do you call a bull that's crazy? Mighty Bull, let us know. Josh Dean, I got it. Who who answered Josh Dean's? Yeah, I know, Marceline, I already got you. Genesis said we're having troubles here too. Yeah, Cinderfella. Josh Dean got it, okay. I'll give Josh Dean. Well, Josh Dean gets two points. James, you're for so asking a question. You're so confused. No, no, but I'm at, I'm seeing. Thanks again, Jack Rab. The James Jack Rab super star disappeared all of a sudden. Let me, uh, I hope I didn't. What did you do, James? I can't hear today. My son turned the volume down on his laptop, CB said. Yes. What happened, you? Jason Morris, re ask did you your block question. Did something by accident? What happened? I don't know. What do you need to Go do? Go check to over there. How? Oh, just uh, super chats. My, Michelle Norton, Snow White. I bet I saw that in the Admiral Theater in West Seattle. Here. here. James, have some cold water and relax. Yeah, Vincent, I'm splash very, some cold water on my face. I'm very confused. Vincent knows what to do. What do you need, What do you need, James? Frank Sinatra was arrested in 1938 in Bergen, New Jersey for seduction and adultery. James, wow, Jack Rabb. I'm confused what you need me to do. You left the record warehouse in Florida. James. Make sure I didn't delete uh, anything. How do you delete? No, no, you're good. Why don't you check on the computer? I'm not really sure what you what you gotcha. what you need me gotcha, to babe. do. Okay. Here we go. Let's try another movie trivia. James is getting back in the groove here. Here, go. I'll, I'll go. I'll. No, we're good. Here we go. James, I'm confused. I'm, I'm no, going to just good. do the puzzle. I, I don't... Yeah, I, no, we're all good. We're I all think you're, away. I think you're all... You're... You, uh... Yeah, I'm all squared away. Got it all sorted. Here we go. What? 1927 musical. Here we go, guys. What? 1927 musical was the first talkie. Hey, Janice S. Joseph, we're going to wait until, uh, yeah, hey, it's 4 o'clock. Joseph, we could do another one. I, I'm still worried I didn't get Josh Dean's going. James is, just give, him a, give James a second. He's very, um, he's, he's behind in the chat. 
What do you call a bullet that's gone crazy? You could call it ballistic. Oh, that's a good one. Mighty Bull, nice job on that one. Extra good, Mighty Bull. Jason Morris, here's my question. Okay, here we go, guys. The next, they got it. Ambrose got Jazz Singer, which is the correct. So did CAK. I'm seeing who got it first. I, here it is, CAK813 got it first. It's the Jazz Singer. And here's a follow-up question. And then we'll do Josh Dean's question. Well, let's do Josh Dean's question first, honey. You you organize it, James. I'm just I'm just the I'm the puzzle doer. I'm just the puzzle doer. Ah, oh, Vincent, I need help here. Here's Jason Morris's question now. Who inspired Seinfeld to talk to his audience before he does the show? Oh, I thought you asked that one already. No, but no, we didn't. You know, it didn't work. Oh, okay. So let's go, guys. Who inspired Jerry Seinfeld to talk to the audience before the show? Justine, let me know who gets it. Let me know who gets that one. Jason Morris. Not Justine, Jason Morris. Oh my God. That's why it's hard, you know? Carla's just a puzzle doer. Exactly. She's not a treasure hunter. She's a treasure finder. Precisely. Nice. Jason Morris, let me know who got it. Jason Morris, let me know the first one who got it correct. CB loves the movie The Bishop's Wife. Watch it every Christmas. Nice job. Jason Morris, let me know who gets it. Patrick got it. Nice job, Patrick. Let's see who got it. Here we go. George Burns. Patrick got it. Nice job, Patrick. You get a point. Nice job. Here we go. Guys, Carlos doing the New Yorker puzzle. It has all... Remember, it's like a riff on that thing with the girls in the window, the fashion. Yeah, and Jack Rabbit. Hey, I'm struggling today, Jack. And almost like, um, <laughs> you know, the Led Zeppelin. Yeah, it's kind of like the Led Zeppelin. Let me show you the view. Not James like, is going to... When, when all else fails, I do the crowd please, or I whip, you know, Hudson in the view. When James is struggling... There's the view. Good night, Gracie. Mrs. Calabash. Wherever you are. Looking out at the beautiful East Village. Josh Dean, I got you. Thanks, Josh Dean. James, just show the view. We're at the top of Mayhem Monday. Guys, I'm 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 deep breath, Janice S. <laughs> Janice S is trying to help me. Janice S. and Marjolene are potting me on the back, saying, breathe in and out, in and out. They gave me a paper bag to breathe in and out of. Aiden P., I love this view. Here we go. We're going to show you the Astor Place view. Yes, A and P. That's an old that's an old church. It's a synagogue now. Looks great, right, Mark? Cartwright. Beautiful. Everybody loves the Mayhem Monday. All right, let me try. I'm gonna start with a clean slate now. I don't know. Bro. James is gonna start with a clean slate, if that's possible. Yeah. Here we go. Movie trivia, guys. I'm going to take this easy. 
What pop group performs at the wedding in Bridesmaids? What pop group performs at the wedding in Bridesmaids? Let's see if I can handle this. I don't know. Yeah, I'm going through burger withdrawal, Jack Rabbit. Not myself. Honest to God. Last night I had some uh, chicken and, uh, what was it, basmati rice and some vegetables. That's right. Oh, okay, Josh Dino. Hang on. Oh, wow. Think how loud that is. James, you better start singing. No, Jason. That's music. loud. Yeah, Jason Morris. I gave you two points. Jason James, Morris. That's, that's coming in loud. Two points. Did everyone hear that? Yeah. I thought it was super loud. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. Phillips. Rosie Willis. Rosie Wills got it. Hey, Rosie. Wow. Rosie. Jason Morris, you got two points. Rosie <laughs> Wills got it. <laughs> Phillips. Wilson Phillips. You're Rosie still, Wills. You're still confused with this? No. Here? No, no, no. I, I got it. I'm all set. And Josh Dean is asking a question now. That was the question before. <laughs> See, I got Jason Morris, Josh Dean crossed up. So that was my bad. It's all it, it's it's all confusing. Yeah, Col James. Calistans has guys. smoked basmati, and men sing. Oh, nice. And now, guys, Josh Dean's question is: What is the girl's name in the song Jambalaya? Let me know who gets it first, Josh Dean. Hey, living in onion, liver and onions popping in. Guess Bash Tree Boys. Josh Dean, here we go. Let me know who gets it first. Josh Dean's question is, what is the girl's name in the song Jambalaya? Let me know who gets it first. Josh Dean. Oh, thanks, Rosie Wills. New, loves you guys. Thanks. Oh, thank you, Rosie. Man, loud. Yeah, those people are deaf out there. If it's it, it wasn't me. Mr. Loverman, Shaba. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. So that's very red. So let me know, Josh Dean, who ends up getting your question. Guys, the question in play is what's the girl's name in the song Jambalaya? What is black rice? Thought I knew all about rice. Yeah, someone's mentioning, JC said bad question. See, that's why. Yeah, but this is a, you know, the, the it, when, when um, it's given by a channel supporter. So we, we um, you know, we, we. Oh, Vincent had noodles with chicken and salmon by skinny pasta noodles. No carbs. Nice. James, I asked four times to Manatee. Yeah, Mark, we don't want to wear that out just yet, though. Yeah, that's... <laughs> We're just getting back. We have plenty yeah. of time for Manatee. Yeah, Mark, we Mark. We have another couple hours. I'll get your Manatees in. No, that's... It's too much, Mark. Like, maybe... Right now. Okay. Oh, my God! Oh, my God! It's a Manatee! It's no, it's too... Oh, my God! Oh, my James, God! Oh, my God! It, it, too much. Please, James, <laughs> no more. For me, no more. <laughs> rice, rice, baby. <laughs> Word to your mother's uncle. T.A. Tickler. Hey, Tea Time Tail. Popping in, guessing you're mine. Josh Dean, let me know. I'm still flapping in the breeze out here with this one. Josh Dean, are you here? Let me know who gets it. And Justine, thank you for um, sending the PayPal oh, donation. Oh, Tea Time Tails, got it, Yvonne. Tea Time Tails, nice job. Justine, thank you so much for sending. Justine, the, you get two points for sending the PayPal donation to us too. We got that. Um, I don't know if you got like my little message back, but thank you for that. Thanks for that, Justine. Tea Time Tails has a point on the board. Oh, extra good. 
All right. Guys, we have Bob Dylan looking over Carla's shoulder back there. My Dylan book. Huge Dylan fan. Huge U2 fan. And huge. Guys, you know our book over there has a forward written by Chris Stein. And I couldn't wait to get back to New York. Couldn't wait. This is Chris Stein's photography. Look at that. James and Carla. Like the New York City hardcore Chris Stein. Nice job. Got a lot of treasures. Here we go. Let's go with a movie trivia. You ready? Yeah, I, I just gotta, I gotta get more pieces. I'm just slowing down here. James, you got, no, 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 you gotta, here I come. you gotta, you gotta keep on talking, James. <laughs> I'm gonna find Keep you. on talking. Yeah, ready. Here we go. You ready, guys? Are you ready or not? Here we go. What on again, off again? Hollywood power couple starred in the film Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf? I read that without making an error. I got all the way through that, huh? What do you want to star? No, because they're going to make me repeat it. What do you want a gold medal? I'm only saying that one once. Hey, Zachary Fontaine popping in. Yeah, Chris Stein's the man. James, what do you want a medal for that? Yeah, we're huge Blondie fans. You know that. We got the box set. We got the super deluxe box set. We got the CDs, we got the books. Debbie Harry's book was fantastic. We got a signed copy of Debbie Harry's book. I nice mean, stuff. Blondie is just our, our whole world here in Madonna. Um, and we even hung out with Chris Stein at his apartment, which was a lifelong dream. He was wonderful, as you would expect. So sweet. Yeah. Let's Extra see who got good. that and who's afraid of Virginia Woolf. Yeah, I love Kramer CB. Burton and Taylor. Taylor Burton. Yes, we're going to get the... It's not out until June. Yeah, his new book? His new book. Lisa UK Girl. Chris Stein's book isn't out till June. We're, we got it on pre-order. Send Hole singing Northern Star and Celebrity Skin Live to your email. Oh, thanks, Joe Burgess. Can't wait to see that. The correct answer. Kathleen Kelly got it first. Jack Rabb got it first. Wait. Hang on. I gotta make sure I get this stuff right. It's Burton and Taylor. Let's see who was the first to get Burton and Taylor. Someone said Liz and Dick, which is also acceptable. Marjolene. I believe Marjolene. Aflac Lopez. <laughs> uh let's see. Where is uh Marjolene's? I know hers was early. Yeah, there it is. It's CAK813 and Marjolene. Okay. And Judy Z. CAK, Marjolene. Let me know how I'm doing, Marjolene. And Judy Z. Got Liz and Dick. Who's afraid of Virginia Woolf? Oh, don't <laughs> rattle that. Rat tat tat, and that was that. Nice. Guys, we're just getting back into the spirit. Is that the uh, book um, Chris Stein signed? No. No, that one's, you know, yeah. put away. Joe Taylor said, James, when is your next book signing? Uh, so September. We don't know the date yet. September. We talked to Joey. Sheridan over at uh yeah but we're gonna have I'm gonna have a party we're gonna do a bunch of them yeah we're gonna do a, we'll we'll announce that we well, we'll definitely had a chance. have over at East Village uh you know Joey Village, Sheridan's place Village Works Village Works Gallery well we Book do one again at Village Works we love Joey we stopped by and saw Joey yesterday or Saturday Saturday no Sunday Sunday yesterday because we didn't live stream yesterday yep and Burton and Taylor were married twice nice Beach Bum eighty eight. We were just and trying we'll to be catch doing some, uh, probably in the back room of some bars and stuff. So, it's the bar book coming out, guys. Oh, thanks, CB. I'm trying. CB understands. Says says extra good questions today, James. Oh, thank you. Trying to you know pump me up a little bit. 
I was struggling there for a while. Dennis Reynolds said this turned into a typing contest. I'm a terrible typer, guys. I type like a duck. Okay, Joe Taylor. Joe Taylor, second question of the day by Question Master Joe Taylor. Let's go, Joe. Second question. Let's go. Will Fargus is saying Mahjong. Yeah. <laughs> Will. Uh, Will. I'm going to give Will a point for that one because I've been saying that. Canasta, Mahjong. Will Fargus. Nice. Joe Taylor, let's go. Second question from Joe Taylor of the day. One an hour from Joe Taylor, hey. Oh, wow. <laughs> In the TV show, this is Joe Taylor's question. In the TV show, International Rescues, what does the radio code FAB stand for? Wow. How old is this, Joe? I don't even Guys, know what you're talking Joe, about. Joe, you're going to have to let me in on this one. I'm not sure. I don't even know what Joe you're talking Taylor, about, Joe Taylor, let me know Joe. who gets this first. You in got, the TV you got show, me. International Rescues, what does the radio code FAB stand for? God, I'm struggling. You got me on this, because I, I don't even know what that show Man is. Man Chan said Forrest Gump wasn't the first to wear Nike Cortez on film. Nike Cortez. I was big in my high school. Thrice divorced. Joe Taylor. JC says never heard of it. No, neither no, no. I. Uh, Damon Dunn never heard of it. CAK never heard of it. International Rescues, question mark, JC said. Yeah, I think this is going back. This might ARB be... said fun and bunnies. I don't know if that's... I think this might be really... Um, Find like... and bring back. I like that answer, like Marceline. an oldie. Oh, Judy Z got it. Joe Taylor said Judy Z got it. Oh, wow. See? Judy Z said you it stood our... for nothing. You doubt our chat. Judy Z said it. it stood for nothing. That was it. Ju Joe Taylor. You get two points. I still don't understand what went on with that one. Yeah, I have no idea and what you're Judy talking C about. And Judy C got it. But, but... FAB are, stood for nothing. But our chat knew, so that, that's all that matters, <laughs> James. Yeah. All that matters is... I thought it, it was find and bag. All that, all that matters is they got it. You know, like uh, evidence, honey, find and bag? But what I'm saying is they they got it. Yeah. They got so, it. So, that's... Joseph uh, Taylor said it was on 64 and 65. Oh my God! Before I was born, I was born. Yeah. wait. Now, no wonder why I didn't know what the heck you're talking about. Joe Taylor, obscure question. Nice job. An oldie, but a good. We'll check back with another Joe question during the five o'clock hour. FAB, James, Fourth I... Avenue Arts Block. Maybe you should do some questions. Here please. we go. Let's do another movie. They seem to be liking the movie. Here we go. Who played... Who played juror number eight in 12 Angry Men? Oh, wow. Who played juror number eight in the classic 12 Angry Men? Let's go. CAK said it must have ran for two weeks and got canceled. Almost seems unfair, Dennis Reynolds said. Yeah, that's just well. You know, it wasn't our question. It's a, it's we we allow some questions from the chat family, and you know. And Josh, Joe Taylor, he has a strong um, history of good questions. Yep, they got it. They got it. I'm going to see who the first two were. The first two to got it was Margeline and C A K eight one three Fonda. Henry Fonda, Margeline and CAK813. Margeline, you're doing fantastic today. Extra good job. Yep. Old Henry Fonda in the classic. Ambrose Chamber podcast guest Bridget Fonda. Mark Cartwright said, where were the women? Fair enough. You see how difficult this is. Brenda Nelson. Home from the hobby shop. Nice. Had a nice walk home, Brenda. Extra good, Brenda. 
Hope they're enjoying their uh, sticker running down there in South Carolina. Here we go. No, it's, you have to be tied for third. You don't get a point for third place. Someone was in between you two. No, no. No women in juries back then. Yeah, 12 Just angry first. men. Just first. There's no third. There were no women in juries back then, honey. Oh, wow. Let's go Seinfeld, guys. Actor Len Lesser played what character on Seinfeld? Actor Len Lesser played what character on Seinfeld? Okay, I have to just just uh, get this going. Christian Hansen said, hey, J&K. Plus us, puzzle me wonders. I saw you guys being interviewed by Fox News. Oh, Local you like it? Local about Vanishing Shop. Nice job, Christian oh, Hansen. Oh, glad you saw, caught that. Yeah, we have to put up the link on our community page, James, so everyone can watch that. Yeah. And then question, how did it come about, but first coffee saying, about the Fox 5 interview for your two, for your two segments? They contacted us. But first coffee, about the new book. Yeah, because they love our new book. What's the matter, you? Gotta no respect. It's a not so bad. No, no. It's a nicer place. Yeah, there we go. Pookie Six got it. Hello! It was Uncle Leo. Pookie Six, nice job. Uncle Leo, Len Lesser. I can't write Uncle Leo. I got to write Pookie Sixth. Got a point. Nice job, Pookie Sixth. Extra good. Uncle Leo. I have way too many pieces out here. CB said I was once on a jury, once never again, once was enough. CAK said I can relax now. Oh, oh, Seinfeld oh, oh, question. Oh, 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 oh. oh, you're going to spill some water. No, I'm going to need more. Hello! You couldn't say hello? Jerry, did you see Uncle Leo and not say hello? Remember, it becomes a big deal. Oh, but first coffee, I have a question. Who does more of the photography, Mr. James or Ms. Carla? It's 50-50. It's uh, It's like having four eyes at the job. James does all of the night photography pretty much because it necessitates... I do a lot of tripod, tripod it's a, work. Because it necessitates um, the use of the tripod. I but otherwise, we, we split it. By far, Carl is more creative. I'm more geometric. Wouldn't you say? The creative shots, yes. Yeah. That's, that's a good way of putting it, too, how yeah. we divide up our workload. Yeah, if you had to try to, like... Uh, find a way to uh, assign who does what. We both do it. But if you see something already um, and not laid out geometrically, that's Carla. <laughs> <laughs> I can't handle that. Well, I mean, and just I am everyone... a Leo. I know Japanese YouTuber who named his son that adorable guy. Christian Hansen said. Extra good. James, what's the image of Hudson below the neon? Oh, yeah. Who did this one, honey? Let's go over the purple. That's not Larry Whitler. Larry That's Whitler. Christmas card. Yeah, Larry Whitler's hand on Christmas card is Hudson there. Larry Whitler, the art and illustration of Larry Whitler also did Hudson at Sunset. ARB, right, did the Hudson sketch? Yep. Um, Nick Gobaleski did yep. Hudson on the Mountain. Um, Dean Reynolds, right? Dean, Dean Russo. Russo. Dean Russo yep. did uh, the Hudson portrait. That's from our friend Revs, and uh, that's Bob. I think you got it all. Yep. Guys, if you're a Dylan fan, this book is sick. Let me tell you, in a good way. And this is me and Carla's Lego, Hudson Lego uh, portrait. And Marjolaine gave us the H. That's Miffy. There's some of James's records. There you go. 
Love all the artwork you guys send. It's fantastic. You see, in the uh, kitchen is Hudson. Hudson Custom Puzzle and Broccoli. From Marsling. Yep. The gentle reminder in the yep. kitchen. Yeah, really talented artist, right, Pookie Sixth? Have you, but first coffee's asking, have you both taken a lot of photography courses? Self taught. No, we're completely self taught. Yep. Pop tarts are the best bargain going, Dennis Reynolds said to Marjolene. And what is Hudson's job in that? Josh Dean said he's a manager. He's a, a assistant, photo assistant. Official photo assistant. ARB, nice question. Uh oh, yep, there we go. Vincent sounds sweet to me. Love, son. Much. I use an umbrella or wide brim, wide brim hat. Brenda Nelson. Carla's more spontaneous and daring during the shoot. Yes. Brenda, absolutely. Both of you are good at 50-50, even photographers. Yes. Vincent, exactly. Did you ever think to teach photography as a master class? Maybe down the road. I don't know. That's hard to say about first coffee. We're too busy working that, yeah. uh, like, you know... It would necessitate us, uh, you know, turning jobs down, so... Yeah, the Hudson at Sunset, that's art and illustration of Larry Whitler. Fantastic. Yeah, right now we're just way too busy. We have done... We have given... Does B&H uh, &H offer we have, training? Yes, Christian Hansen. They do photography classes. We have... Uh, B&H asked us to speak, actually, but yeah, we Hudson's just got the, too busy. Honey, as that boy gets a point, Hudson is the managing partner. Exactly. As an app boy, you get a point for knowing that. He's the chief CFO also, Hudson. As an app boy, you get a point. He's the managing partner. Things, the, the wheels would start, would grind to a halt if Hudson wasn't around. Correct. You'd put sand in the ointment by not having Hudson there. Correct. But first coffee, I'd love to spend a day with you guys to see what you do. Yeah, a lot of times it's just, uh, it's tough stuff. <laughs> we work very hard to make it look easy. This is an easy Seinfeld one, and I'm going to go back to movies. Where does Morty find that he thinks his wallet's been stolen? Where is Morty when he thinks his wallet has been stolen? That's a good one. First, you have to know who Morty is. Yeah, but that's you said it's a Seinfeld question, so. Yeah. I think our chat will get this <laughs> Ambrose one. Chamber Pot gets a point. He said Hudson's... Hudson's sleeping, so I assume he's the supervisor. Yeah, thank you, so. That's perfect. That is so perfect. Perfectly said. I changed perfectly said. Guys, do you hear the snoring? Did you hear baby snoring? James, I hear it. Yeah. Go back to it again. James, I hear it. Hudson develops all the 35 millimeter film in the dark room. Yeah, Jack Rabbit. He's got a schmuck on in his James, apron. James, I hear the snoring. I hear it. Hang on. I got to stay on top of this. I got to see who got it first. It's the doctor's office. Of course it is. And the first person that got it was Marjolene. It's good that you take some time out to do this. It's fun and provide a source of income to a group degree. Yes. Uh, we just love doing our chat, talking to our chat. So, Marjolene, you got that. It was at the doctor's office. My wallet's gone. <laughs> Let's go back to movies, guys. Hang on. <laughs> James is trying to hold the fort down here. I 
heard that. that was I don't funny. think anybody heard that. I heard it. James, I think that was the snoring is adorable. I just got to say it. Yeah, the snoring, fantastic. Guys. The snoring is adorable. What was the name? Yeah, Wendy, we'll do yours next. Here we go, guys. What was the critically panned 1984 movie starring Dolly Parton and Sylvester Stallone that, are, that eventually became a cult classic. What's the name of the movie? Jimmy, I hear more snores. You know I'm a Dolly Parton fan. Dolly Parton, Sylvester Stallone, critically panned movie in 1984 that eventually became a cult classic. What's the name of the movie? And then we'll do Wendy's. Wendy, we'll do your question next. Hudson's dreaming of Joe's Pizza, Brendan Nelson said. Could possibly be. Yeah. He's snoring, right? Vincent? It's adorable, right, guys? Yeah. Bustello is not top of the line, but first coffee sake. But yeah, we've had good coffee. Oh, here it is. Who got it first? Who got it first? Hang on, guys. Wow, that's tough. It keeps jumping, you know. Hey, Holla popping in. Welcome aboard, Holla. Ski Deeds got it. Rhinestone and R.J. Wertheimer and Wendy. Three-way tie. Rhinestone Cowboy? Yep. No, just Rhinestone. Oh, Rhinestone. R.J. Wertheimer. Haven't heard from R.J. Wertheimer. He's dangerous. They're dangerous. In the in the in the trivia, R.J. Wertheimer. Monday Mayhem. Here we go. Ski Deeds and Wendy. Wendy gets a point, and Ski Deeds gets a point. The critically panned 1984 movie with Dolly Parton and Sylvester Stallone was Rhinestone. And Ski Deeds. Got it as well. Yep. Three-way tie. Good. Now, Wendy. Wendy, go ahead and ask a question. Thanks for asking. Thanks for being patient. Guys, the next question is coming from Wendy. Let's go, Wendy. Been on the phone selling. Been busy today. Yeah, RJ. Ambrose was first. Margeline, I'll give Ambrose Chamber Pot two points because I missed that one. Ambrose, you get two points. Wendy, let's hit it. Hey, JC. Oh, here's Wendy's. Wendy, fantastic question. What the Madonna song I'll remember is featured in what movie? Oh, that's a fantastic question. The Madonna song I'll remember is featured in what movie? Fantastic job, Wendy. You get two points. You know that one, huh? Extra good question. Right, James? Yep. Extra. Extra good. But First Coffee can smell coffee and tell you where it's from. R.J. Wertheimer got it first with honors. R.J. Wertheimer, nice job, nice job, Wendy. Vincent Padula never liked Dolly Parton. Vincent, you gotta, I mean, Dolly's been through a lot. Yeah, it's one of Madonna's beautiful, beautiful ballads. Mm hmm. Absolutely. Hey, guitar by Sam Martinez popping in. Okay. Yeah, Stallone's great too. I mean, 
Here we go. Hey, Huds. Movie trivia. Here we go. What movie did Steven Spielberg, honey, win his first Oscar for? Best Director. What movie did Steven Spielberg win his first Best Director? Best Director. Award. Oscar for. Yeah. You spit it out, James. Nice you job did. on the emojis, Vincent Padula. Great job. Hey, Green Eyes 73 popping in saying happy Monday. Right happy back at you, Green Eyes 73. What movie was the first one Steven Spielberg won his director Oscar for? Wow, this is I was just listening to Madonna's song Mother and Father yesterday. Yeah. That's a great one. RJ Wertheimer got it. Schindler's List. Um, devastating movie. Guys, when we were in Poland. Me and Carla went to one of the sites where they filmed parts of Schindler's List. Yeah. The Liban Quarry. It's abandoned. Some of the set dressings were still there. Wow, Schindler's List. Tough one. Hey, Michelle Norton. Great. Oh, Becky's back in the New York scene. Yeah, we're back in the New York scene. I'm going to show the view now. Becky popped in. Here's Hudson on his bed now. He switched from the pizza blanket to his bed. There he is. He's got the Vincent Padula bow tie and collar on. And here's how the scene's looking on your Monday afternoon. Hudson's styling. Yep. Right, Carl, I bet this is so relaxing for you. You impress me as someone... The more complex something is, the more relaxed you are. The more simple something is, you're not relaxed. Yeah, but first coffee. That's not too far off, though. Carla loves a challenge. Carla loves a challenge. This is a, this is a difficult puzzle. This, I'm not going to lie. Yep. I, I'm always real about it. Like, I say it like it is. Mighty Bull has a question. What did the Mighty Bull do with the football? Oh, Marjolene, I'll give Theodore T, uh, two, two points. Thanks, thanks Theodore T. Thanks, Marjolene. Let me peek out this side. There we are. There's the Williamsburg Bridge in the distance there. It's a fantastic day in New York City. Becky, I hope you're, this is looking south. I hope you're enjoying the view. Hearts Wild popping in, saying, hey, James, Carlin, sweet boy, Hudson. Thank you, Hearts Wild. Yeah, this is a def definitely a difficult puzzle, guys. Theodore T, let me give you those two points right now. Theodore T. There he is. There they are. Good. Thanks, Marjolene. Yeah, beautiful sky today. No, you can't open the window. We have a we have a workaround for that. But it's not. We don't Call like to do coffee. that during the day. But we've done that in our nighttime city talks. We open the window farther. We have a workaround. They're not made to be open. Here we go. For safety reasons. Yep. Here we go. Hmm. This is one I probably wouldn't have known. I'm not that familiar with the movie. What was the name of the courtesan played by Nicole Kidman in Moulin Rouge? Oh, yeah, I'm not familiar. I'm not that familiar with that movie. I know Pink did a fantastic job uh, singing on, it, on the soundtrack and Christina. Dennis Ronald said, Carla needs more jewelry. <laughs> I think Dennis is being uh, facetious. <laughs> yeah, we look towards South Florida. Exactly, Michelle Norton.
Madam Carla Murray. Hey, Hartswild. Great job. Yeah, Zachary Fontaine, 77 in New York City today. The rest of the week's going to be a little cooler. Yeah, I think that's what they said, right? Yep. Yeah, CB can't get enough of the view. Loves it when it's raining. Yeah, us too. Christian Hansen got it sateen. Christian Hansen got it first. Dennis Reynolds wants me to explain what's a courtesan. Not going there. <laughs> Christian Hansen, nice job. Hmm. Uh, Nicole Kidman played the courtesan sateen. Christian Hansen got it. I remember sateen shirts in the 70s. Saltines, Ambrose Chamber podcast. Yeah, listen, Vincent Paggio said, I got the fan on me. The sun is roasting the roof. I'm cooking in my apartment. Yeah, we got warm in here today, Vincent. We got the door open right over there. Just to provide some air. Jack Rapp said, Carlos Manatee recording is now copyrighted. <laughs> Jack. You asked for it. Oh my god! Oh my god! It's a bad video something! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! The classic. James, I'm gonna get myself more water. Okay. James and Carla. Carla and James. What was your favorite subjects in college? Mine was my favorite subject. Ah, uh, what was yours, hon? It's like picking a favorite kid or favorite album. I would uh, say I liked uh, I liked math and science. Brendan Nelson has a movie yeah. movie trivia. Yeah, right, Vincent. Isn't that Hudson Neon cool? That was made by our friends in Moon Signs. Here we go. Brenda Nelson, next question but is coming by a Brenda Nelson. I'll give you two points, Brenda. Let's go. Brenda Nelson, next question. Movie question from Brenda Nelson. Hobby Shop Brenda, her sticker is now on the spark plug of fame down in Pedro, South Carolina. I like to kickball, Ambrose Chamber Pop. Me too, those red balls that go boink, boink when you hit them. Remember? Doink. Of course. They made that noise. But first coffee liked math and science. Brenda, ask your question. 78 in Maine right now, Wendy said. Wow. I'll be in New York City early summer, always back and forth. Nice, Wendy. Is that when Hudson woke up? Yes, Hudson woke up and he got over there. So exciting, it might just be something, Ambrose Chamberpot said. And Lori Lou said, the manatee recording never gets old. Aw, <laughs> thanks, guys. It's getting hot in here. Yeah, mad scientist. You got it, Josh. Glad Dean. you like it. So, Brenda, type in your question. Let us know when you're cooking. Yeah, we have marginally, we that's very good. Saying that Vincent, uh, they have a stream on the neon sign. We did it the day we went to pick it up. Exactly. Not pick it up, but go check it out when it was finished. Right. Then we came back and got a Uber or something. He, no, he del uh, then he delivered it. He delivered it. it, yep. We're waiting for Brenda Nelson's question. Dodgeball was the bomb. Holla, we had killed a carrier. Hala, you probably played Kill the Carrier if you like dodgeball. We had a, our, our behind our grammar school was a huge hill. And we would kick the ball down the hill and then everyone would charge down and try to get the ball. CB said Carla never gives up. No, no. It's, this is a challenging puzzle, but it's, it's oh, Brenda, totally here we go. doable. What was the name of the movie Bruce Willis started, started that took place in future New York City Taxi Driver? I know that one. Brenda, fantastic question. I gave you two points, Brenda. Guys, the question is coming from Brenda Nelson. 
What is the movie that starred Bruce Willis, who plays a future New York City taxi driver? They got it. They got it. Christian Hansen got it first. Extra good. Fifth Element. Christian Hansen. Nice job. Christian Hansen. Fifth Element. Lilu. Oh, yeah. That's Mila right. Jojovich was fantastic. Bruce she was Willis. awesome in that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a Bruce Willis fan, so I love Die Hard, no matter what anybody was saying. Oh, no. God. Love Die Hard. Hudson is playing musical beds today, Vincent said. Yeah. That's what he does. Yeah, I was a mad scientist girl, as a young girl, but first coffee says. I would do all these experiments to see what happened, but first coffee. <laughs> losing the eyebrows. Oh, no. <laughs> Lost, losing eyebrows is part of that. Who's in the lead? Mark Cartwright wants to know right now. Oh, no, we don't ever do that, do we? Uh, I do. Uh, all right, all right. First, uh, first place is a tie between Ambrose Chamber Pot and Marjolein. Oh, wow. Marjolaine and Ambrose Chamber Pot are tied for first at this moment. But that's <gasps> meaningless. Anything can happen. Look, even Hudson piped in. That, like, things could change in a heartbeat. Yeah, it gets late pretty early, though. Right? Yeah. That could change in a heartbeat. Yeah, Guitar by Sam Martinez. We're going off the chart today. Guitar by Sam Martinez wants to ask a question. We're not going to do this every time, guys. Yeah. It's not it going to be... It just gets too confusing Some free-for-all that James, you know, can't handle. But... I'm doing pretty good today. I'm pretty lucid. <laughs> I'm pretty lucid and uh, with it today. James is, James has, you know. Uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> Let's do a question from Guitar by Sam Martinez. Let's go. The next question will be from Guitar by Sam Martinez. Let's go, Guitar by Sam Martinez. This is a, uh, this is a uh, what do you call that, a uh, interview process. Let's see how you do. Here we go. Guitar by Sam Martinez. The code in the matrix comes from what food recipe? A. Sushi. B. Dumpling. C. Stir fry. D. Pad oh, no, that, thai. That's too easy. No, no. It's a multiple choice. But I that, like it. You like it? All right. Guitar by Sam Martinez. Good job. Let, guitar by Sam Martinez. I'm not familiar with that one, so you have to let me know who gets it. Guitar by Sam Martinez. Mikey yeah, Bella Estrella. This city will make everyone a little confused. You got it. Guitar by Sam Martinez. You have to let me know who gets it first. That's part of the responsibility. Exactly. Now you have a responsibility. See what you did there? Yeah. You are no longer a passive viewer. Right. You are hip deep in this now. Right. Now you have a responsibility. Yeah, great chat today, CB. I agree. Oh, look who wandered by. Look who wandered by. The hut shake. There he is. He's peeking out the door. Guitar by Sam Martinez says, Judy Z got it. Excellent, excellent Judy job, Judy. Judy Z, fantastic. Excellent job, Judy. Job. Let me see what Judy said. Sushi. Excellent job. Said sushi. That was A. Nice job, Judy Z. Nice job. Extra good. Guitar by Sam Martinez. I'm going to write Guitar by Sam. Yeah, just for short. Yeah, Guitar by Sam gets two points for that. That was excellent. Guys, this isn't going to be the way it goes now. Or anybody can just jump in. It's a special day. James is at the helm. But first coffee said, James and Carla, did you ever think to make puzzles out of your pictures and sell them? No, because um, our, our, it, um, for a lot of reasons, but, n but no. Oh, Josh Dean is saying RJ, RJ was first. I'll give a point to RJ, no problem. RJ Wertheimer gets a point. Murphy D said, hope you're well, you pair. Night dudes. Thanks, Murphy D. Popping in today. Nice job, Murphy D. Appreciate that. Bob Dylan's watching over the whole thing in the back there. Here comes the Hudster. I'm expecting Hudson to wander by any minute.
Someone asked if they could do a question. Let me make sure I'm not, you know. You answered about the puzzles, right, honey? No, I just said for a lot of reasons, no. No. Oh. There goes Hudster. Hey, Huds. Let's see who was, uh, who asked me. Brenda Nelson saying, on Golden Pond was filmed in Holderness, New Hampshire. No, no, it's fine. But first coffee. No, no. No, the no. Thing about the, the, no, I'm but gonna say, I'll, he said, I'll, okay, no more questions. No, 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 that's not it. The reason, the reason why we don't, one of the reasons why we hey, don't, Sharon L. why we don't um, have any puzzle companies is because um, then they would have, they would have our photo. Our photos are copyrighted and um, it's a lot of legalities involved in it because they're, they're published works that it gets, um, it's, it's complicated. Yeah. That, I mean, without going into the, the legalities of it all, right. it's just really, really complicated and it's not worth um, the hassle, basically. Right. Um, we don't want to give away our rights to our photograph to a puzzle company. Right. And uh, a lot of times companies that pay us or books don't want it as a puzzle. Exactly. Exactly. So it's like Carlos said, it's uh It's complicated. It's a cool thought. It is. Oh, hey, try these two. These have that black line you just tried. Yeah, I know, but it's there's you tried more those than two? that. There's yeah, there's okay. there's there's a, a it's a separate line. It's He's a, drinking water from sleeping. Yes. Vincent Padgley got dry mouth a little bit. Stephen Castro in the house. I can hear people noise on the street. Love it. Yeah, Brendan. You don't get that in Florida. That's how I live. Jack Rob vacationed at Squam Lake four years ago and kayaked on it. That's where they filmed on Golden Pond. Jack Rab. Yeah, there's never there's never any bad questions or anything like that. We're happy to answer. It's just sometimes it's like, you know, it would it would be a big long discussion to give like yeah. the full answer. So when Carla goes and pulls a whiteboard out of the kitchen. Right. It's on a wheel stand and like sets up this whiteboard with magic markers, the erasable magic markers. You know you're in for an answer. <laughs> Here we go. Let's try it. I like the movie trivia tonight, don't you, Hunt? Loving it. Loving it. Loving, 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 loving it. Okay. 50s drama, Betty Davis. Fashion your seatbelts. It's going to be a bumpy ride. What movie is that? 1950s, Betty Davis, fasten your seatbelts. It's going to be a bumpy ride. Hmm. What question, what movie was that? Hudson nicks the photo puzzle deal. They didn't even get through the door. Jack Rapp saying. They couldn't even get up to see us, Jack Rapp. Hudson just, you know, gave that a pause down. <laughs> Hudson. You got to get through Hudson first. Jack Rab's right. I'm Precisely. giving Jack Rab a point for that. Because he perfect. knows you have to get through the Hudson. If you showed up with an idea with no pizza, <laughs> no slices of pizza, Jack Rab, you're not getting very far. That's true. Hudson will put the kibosh on it right, right away. The kibosh. <laughs> yes, they got it. Hang on. Someone got it. Yeah, Justine said, I don't think it'll do your photos good at making it a puzzle. I'm liking this chat. Ask a question edition. Special tax day edition. Yeah, holla. We'll do your taxes. It's like Shawshank Redemption. We got a line of people. We'll just do taxes. That's oh all my right. God, Shawshank. Yeah, CAK813 got it first. All about Eve. CAK813 got it. All about Eve. 1950. Betty Davis. Fasten your seatbelt. It's going to be a bumpy ride. All about Eve. She's got Betty Davis eyes. Let's do that. Guys, who sang the song She Got Betty Davis Eyes? This should be simple for you guys to follow the channel and know James loves his FM radio <laughs> along with Carla. 1980s. Guys, who did the song? She's got Betty Davis eyes. Let's go. I'm liking that. I think they should be able to get it. Yeah. What do you think, James? Yes, I like Jack Rapson. Do you want to even get through the door? 
Oh, but that, if you don't bring pizza? No, if you don't, you know, at Hudson. You got to get through Hudson first. So bring, show up with some wine and dine Hudson. Bring a couple slices of pizza, maybe half a pie even. Show you're, you know, not skimping. Right. Some bacon. Show that you're eager. Eager to please. A ball, squeaky, just, you know. You're going to have to talk to Hudson first. Get through him and then. Eager to please. Yeah. Oh, they got it. They got it. I like to the night. Keep water by the bed. Yeah, Vincent. I get thirsty at night, too. Kim Carnes, Annie P., Mark Cartwright. It's a tie. Pookie sixth. Got Kim Carnes. Annie P. Got Kim Carnes. My pen's running out. Annie P. Got Kim Carnes. Annie P. And Mark Cartwright. I believe. Yep, Mark Cartwright. All right. <laughs> nice job, guys. Kim Carnes. She's precocious. And she plays first base just like Scott Brocious. No, that's not it. She's got Betty Davis eyes. I sang it, right? That's the lyric? She knows just what it takes to make a girl blush. Yeah, she took... She will hold you. She will blank you. <laughs> She's got Betty Dave's eyes. Holla. Oh, my Which God. Which one are you? I mean, oh. that was the late night radio show. Nice job. Here we go. Guys, you're doing great today. Fantastic job. Here we go. Marlon Brando. Could have been a contender. In what movie? Marlon Brando. That's all I'm giving you. You got to know this. Marlon Brando could have been a contender in what movie? Kim Carnes. Yes, Vincent Padgett. Yes, you know, I'm getting places. You know, yeah, hang on. Brenda said, Jack Rabbit, my parents were born and raised in New Hampshire. Brenda was saying. And the, my dad in Meredith. My mom in Lockmere, a village inside the town of Tilton. On the waterfront. CAK-813 got it. I think CAK-813 was the one who didn't like Bruce Willis movies. Now she's now CAK-813 is hammering along. <laughs> I remember um, watching the making of We Are the World. Okay, hon? Okay. And they, they have a segment where Kim Carnes is standing next to the amazing Cindy Lauper. Okay? I'm listening. And there's a say it's kind of a fun segment where they're they're wondering where all the rattling's come coming from and it's from Cindy Lauper's jewelry. Oh but what kind of I don't know, I didn't like too much was here's this goes here, honey. Does it? Yes. Um, Extra good, James. Was when Cindy Lauper, you know, like in in the the song "We Are the World," Cindy Lauper goes well, 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 and then she starts singing, and Kim Carn makes a face, like what the heck is this noise? Huh. And I, I was a big, I like Cindy Lauper. I think she's great, and it always kind of bothered me a little bit. She kind of looks at Cindy Lauper like, who's but this I, weirdo? I guess people don't, not everyone gets along, you know, no. sadly, right? Right. But I always remember that. I, I think maybe some people in the chat will remember that. You know, Cindy's one of those people with me that just can't do anything wrong. You know, she was always great. Now, Amy Jo Johnson said Carlos a hero. Oh, no. Is a genius. I'm sorry. Amy Jo Johnson. I don't know where I got a hero. Simple Minds. Good song. Waterfront. Yep. Paul McDonough. I love Simple Minds. Zachary Fontaine was born and raised in Keene, New Hampshire. I live in New York now. Nice, Zachary. We can find ways to make our earth green and healthy. Amy Jo Johnson, you betcha. Her Harvey Firestein voice. Yeah, Ambrose Chamberpot. Judy Z. I totally agree, Amy Jo Johnson. Got to protect those ozone layers. Here we go. Movie trivia next. 
lot of egos in that video. Yeah, C-A-K. I like how Bob really just kind of... Bob Dylan, they cut to Bob Dylan. He's just standing there. He doesn't know what the hell's going on. Bob's like, oh, you know, whatever. Well, he's not going to get involved and then in some, drama. Supposedly Springsteen pulled up in a station wagon and just walked in. You know, everybody else had limos and stuff. Springsteen parked around the corner and walked over from his, his uh, beat-up station wagon. Oh, back then? Back then, yeah. Right. <laughs> back then, now he has, you know, seven... Drivers. <laughs> seven uh, Mercedes Sprinter vans. <laughs> Probably. Yeah, like Still a great guy. But, oh, yeah. But it was different back then. He, you know, he would just drive over in his... In his uh, yeah, he would be like, I'm just right. one of the guys, kind of. Love seeing Bob in that. Michael, of course. Uh, Bob, Springsteen, Hall & Oates. Bono. I think I'm getting confused. I think Bono was in um, yeah. Do They Know It's Christmas. Tonight, thank God it's them oh, instead of you. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Cindy Lauper was Lou Albano's niece. Yeah, I know that. We had Live Aid in the UK, 85. Went to the concert, the concert with my auntie, Paul McDonough, saying that must have been crazy. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, Carol King. JC, uh, Carol King's amazing. I like both Cindy Lauper and Madonna. Yeah, I'm in. Me too. Here we go. Movie trivia. Here we go. Hang on. I gotta hit this. What famous LA landmark featured heavily in Rebel Without a Cause? What famous LA landmark featured heavily in Rebel Without a Cause? Fairly fair question. Very easy. Fifty six in Tacoma. Michelle Norton saying the sun is trying to come out and that makes my plants happy. Nice job, Michelle Norton. Happy plants. Happy plants are good. Yeah. Who doesn't want a happy plant? Yep. Right, James? Yep. ARB is a green mission ambassador at my job. Making sure waste is sorted, etc. Diverting recycling from the landfill. Oh, ARB, awesome. nice job. That's We're all awesome. gotta do our part. Each one teach one too. We need the name. Got to be more specific. Annie P, be more specific. Rebel Without a Cause, famous L.A. landmark featured heavily. Annie P, you're close. Yeah, I know, Vincent, that sucks. Doesn't it? Whole notes don't talk or get get along anymore. Paul McDonough said Skid Row. This features heavily. No, Paul. It's a good guess, though. <laughs> Skid Row. Yeah. We can reuse and recycle. This is Amy Jo Johnson. Things we like. Recycling the water bottle and making sure that our electricity is still functioning and making sure we're not plugging too much stuff in. You got it. There it is. There it is. It is the Griffin Observatory. Griffin Observatory. Griffith Observatory. Any piece of just observatory, I couldn't give it to her. R.J. Wertheimer, C.A.K. got it. R.J. Wertheimer and C.A.K. 813 got it. Nice job. Yes, Annie P, I'll give you the point. Annie P, you get a point. I feel bad. You know, observatory was good enough. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Here we go. I, I totally agree. See that? There's a red trim. Here I come, guys. So that would be a red trim like this. And then it goes to the black. Okay. You ready, guys? That could be there. That's a good one. All right. Who played 
Hang on. Who played Martin Luther King Jr. in the 2014 biopic Selma? How's that one? I think that's good. I think Joseph Taylor one. might get it. Who played Martin Luther King Jr. in the 2014 biopic Selma? Right? Yeah. Not a good movie. I thought it was the Mr. Griffith in the observatory with the candlestick. Holla. You get a point for <laughs> you get a point for the clue reference. The game oh, clue. Oh, that's perfect. Board game life, Holla. Back in our day. That is perfect. I love it. Annie P, there you go. Your rhinestone point, if you will. Yes. <laughs> oh, Annie P, I guess I owe you another one, too. So, I guess I missed Annie P another time. Who played Martin Luther King Jr. in the 2014 biopic Selma? That was great. First, last word. There it is. R.J. Wertheimer got it. David O.E. Lolo. Lalo. Okay. R.J. Wertheimer, nice job. Great movie, nice job. Here we go, another one. Going to hit you silly with these. Yeah, let's try this one. What 1980 box office bomb ruined the career of the Deer Hunter director Michael I want to make sure Michael Cimino what 1980 box office bomb ruined the career of the Deer Hunter director Michael Cimino Sadiq Hakan Gurus popping in saying Carlos the Queen James Aww. and Carla Puzzle King and Queen I try I try guys Keith Havens back from work nice job Keith I'm going to show the view of New York again for Sadiq, but in a second. What movie, 1980 movie, ruined the career of the fantastic Deer Hunter director, Michael Cimino? What was the name of the movie? Box Office Bomb. Tanked. And then that was it? Yep. That's yes, Amy Jo Johnson, here, here. Amy Jo saying if we can all keep our planet clean and healthy, Mother Earth will be okay. Amy Jo Johnson, that's a beautiful thought. Most definitely. Yes, Patrick got it. Yep, we're almost ready for Joe Taylor. It's Heaven's Gate. Patrick got it. Heaven's Gate. Box office bomb. Almost, you know, destroyed his career. All right, now we're ready for the Joe Taylor 5 o'clock question. Yeah, holla. Hit you with the hot mops. My wife up on the roof. Yes, Joe Taylor, let's go. Five o'clock question from Joe Taylor. Let's go. Let her rip, Joe. Andy Warhol, here we go. Andy Warhol designed the album cover for which Rolling Stones album that shows a real zipper? In what year? Oh, that's Two a point good one. Joe Taylor, that's fantastic. Wow, love that, Joe Taylor. Yeah, Joe Taylor, and we need the year. Joe Taylor just parlayed. Threw down par the gauntlet. Parried a two-point question. Uh, a two-part question, I'm sorry. He gets threw, two points. Threw down the gauntlet with the this. The year and the title of the Andy Warhol-designed Rolling Taylor, Stones album cover that featured a zipper, a real zipper. That's an amazing question. You know we love our music. I drive him silly, Holla. Bring in a tank, I'll sell the thing, Holla. That was great. Hey, Ripley of Tennessee popping in. Welcome aboard, Sam Jonesboro. Welcome aboard, Sam. R.J. Wertheimer got it, but we need the year. 
Guys, we need the year and the title. Josh Dean got it. Sticky Fingers, 71. Josh Dean, nice job. Josh Dean, fantastic job. Warm in here a little bit, huh? Yeah. Josh Dean, nice job. So. You got it. Joe Taylor, another fantastic question. Honey, hold the fort a second. Okay, hey, hold on, here. guys. Guys, I'm working on the puzzle. James just had to step away for a second. Did a, he did a step away. And what I'm doing is I'm doing the trim around the windows because that's like, I mean, not that that's easy, but it's like, I don't know what I just gravitated to. I can't, um, you know, tell you why I gravitated to that, but I figured, okay, that's something that I can, you know, tackle and, and you know, sort of sort out. Uh, there's this, you know, the, the yellowish trim around each of the windows. So in case you're wondering, like, how am I attacking this puzzle? Um, yeah, that's what I decided to, to, to do. It's a, definitely a challenging puzzle. Definitely, um, you know, not the definitely the not most difficult puzzle I've done. I'd say I'm still working on that one, which is the vinyl record puzzle gifted to me, us, you know, I'll, I say me, but it's really, it's both of us. But I'm just the one that does the puzzle so James can, uh, you know, do, handle the live chat. Is the vinyl record puzzle from Rolling, the Rolling Stone Experience that our wonderful channel supporter Marjolene from the Netherlands got us. And that's in Florida. So I won't get back to that one until we go back down to Florida. But that's, I, I mean, I have to say, that's probably the most difficult puzzle I, don't, I think I have ever worked on to this date. Because it just has a lot of the same, you know, black, a lot of black. So it makes it, you know, uh, challenging. To, to, yeah, to, I mean, what more can you say? It's, it's, it's a challenging puzzle. Can't see that. Doesn't, no, that doesn't go there. James, I was just saying that's the probably the most challenging puzzle. Which one is the one that I, the Rolling Stone, you know right. that I that I'll get we'll get back to. Oh yeah, I didn't give it back up on it or anything. Here's a like drone that. shot. Carlos doing good on the puzzle. Let me show you a drone shot. Well, you know, it's just it's just it's. I think I have a lot of pieces on the right. on the board too, so I have to kind of like parts is parts. Mark Cartwright, it's a thousand pieces. It is a thousand pieces. And Zachary and says, had, oh, yeah, it looks I hard. I had the whole edge, but then Hudson messed it up, and I can't, I didn't have the time to figure it out. I don't know how these. Yeah, Vincent's beautiful out. You know, Hudson uh, kind of, uh, he messed, messed up. Oh, Janice has bought a used copy that I'm in there. Some idiots tore the picture off the front. Is this it? Yeah. I'm Coco's? warm too, James. Yeah. Got a fan. I don't know if that's it. Yeah, too soon for air conditioning, I tell you. Yeah, Vince, I don't think we're going to have to worry about it the rest of the week. I'm not ready to turn the air conditioner on yet. Are you, James? Hey, Johnny Azaria. Popping in. I'm not ready for AC yet. Are you, Johnny? I know the rest of the week it's going to cool down. I know that. Some kids are playing on the roof over there. Welcome aboard, Johnny Azaria TV. You saw that your sticker is still running down on the Spark Plug of Fame in Old Pedro's, south of the border, South Carolina. Nice. Oh, you fixed the edge. Nice job, Carla. <laughs> Guys, things are coming together. Anything. Carla's making headway on the puzzle. So it's a beautiful day out, right? Stunning. Yeah. Lovely weather. Yep.
Ha! See, a case that I don't go by dates for AC. You know, it's hot, it's hot, it goes on. Even yeah. if it's February. <laughs> I had the AC on the max setting in the car today. Holla, I don't doubt That's it. That's funny. You're like, I don't go by dates. I just turn it's it on. It's 80 in Virginia. The AC's already on. Stephen Castro said in West Virginia. I'm sorry. West Virginia. James and Carly, your apartment is big for a studio. Got a beautiful view. Yeah, Zachary Fontaine. Oh, it's funny. You, people, exactly. that, people don't live in New York or never have come in here and they're like, how do you live in this tiny space? Right. They're and like, we're like, no, 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 no. no. This, this is, is big by Manhattan standards. Yeah, by Manhattan standards. It's pretty good. <laughs> you know, for Manhattan. There's bigger yeah. studios like in other places, but Manhattan tends to be smaller. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for that. Yeah. So thanks for go. making us feel better. Sometimes we're like, oh, my God. Here we go. What words are written on the knuckles of Reverend Harry Powell in The Night of the Hunter? Wow. Here we go. We're, we're not playing. Tough one. What words are written on the knuckles of Reverend Harry Powell on The Night of the Hunter? Let's go. That's like a white knuckle. Yeah. Hey, Steven Castro's AC is set at 65. Nice. Kevin, Keith Havens has that album, and you have to keep it in front, or the zipper will damage the covers of the other albums. Oh, yeah, oh, Keith Havens. I didn't even I think could of see that. how that could be a, uh, yeah, a we wrinkle. Don't, we don't own that one. It'll cause wrinkles in the thing. Yeah, Jane, we don't own that vinyl. No. But I could see that being a problem. My two prize stones were the ones I got when they came out. Tattoo You and uh, Emotional Rescue. Yes. Uh, I mean, they have Dynamite albums. That's not, you know, I'm not saying that's their best. But they're absolutely fantastic. Lost most of stereo stuff in a fire anyway. Replacement copy used, Janet S. said. Oh. R.J. Wertheimer got it. Wow, today is tough. I might have to get Elaine to take the trivia test for me. And hand me the answers to the windows. Oh, who said that? Jack Rab, you get a point. Jack Rab, you get a point for that. That's oh, that's fabulous. a classic. Yeah. That is fabulous. Yeah, I got some coffee. Where'd you get coffee? Yeah, where'd you get I coffee? I went out the window. Went out the window. Like, like what, what do you think? Yeah. Oh, Jack Rab, that's a classic. They, the first person who got it, it was Love and Hate. Johnny Azar said, yesterday I ordered something for Christmas season. That sold out the same day. I can't wait for the unboxing. Johnny no. Rosario said. Yeah. Don't want to be your slave. Johnny, you are so ahead of the time. Johnny Azari, that's I fantastic. I can't even think about Christmas now. That's fantastic. Johnny's on a ball. Johnny. R.J. Wertheimer got it. It was you know love why? and hate. James, you know why? Because Johnny's Mr. Christmas. That's yeah, Johnny's why. Mr. Christmas. That's why. R.J. Wertheimer got it. Love and hate. Was the uh, Reverend... Richard Powell, question. In the Night of the Hunter. Here we go. Johnny, that's fantastic. Johnny, I can't... You're, you're, you're amazing. Girl loves hearing the sirens again. Brendan Nelson said it's 80 in Matawan right now. Wow. And our window view is beautiful. Thanks for that. Yeah, Josh Dean, I love Get Your Yaya's yeah, yeah, Out. I love Midnight Rambler and Sympathy for the Devil. Here we go. What Hollywood movie star plays himself in Zombieland? Wow. What holiday? Hollywood. Hollywood. Not what holiday. the hell am I talking about? I'm looking at the Madonna holiday. Album over there. Yeah. Holiday. If we took a holiday. No. What Hollywood movie star plays himself? I should have said plays themselves. Now I gave part of it away. In the movie Zombieland. Let's go. It's sold out already. I had to buy it the same day it was released, Johnny Azaria said. That's oh my crazy. God! Whatever that Johnny is, Johnny Azaria, crazy. that's crazy. Uh, what do people do? People ever order you dinner, lunch, breakfast, and send it to your apartment? Uh, but first coffee, yes, that's happened. That's happened. But first coffee, absolutely, and we appreciate it. Man Chan got it first. Gotcha. Thanks, Marjolene. Thank you, Marjolene. Marjolene looks out for James. me. Because James, like you know, you had a little snafu a couple of times. No, Marjolene, you know, she she takes me by the ear, 
and uh, gets me back on the right track. The person it is, they got it. It's Bill Murray. Only eight months till Christmas, Bella Estrella sings. Oh my God. My sister had the sticky fingers album she bought in the 70s, Brenda Nelson said. And J Johnny Azari, that's fantastic news. Um, the first person to get Bill Murray, it was a three-way tie. Keith Havens gets a point. Where's Keith Havens? He gets a point. Keith Havens gets a point. Uh, oh, it's, it went up again. Hang on, guys. Are Keith you okay Havens on the battery, James? Yeah, we're still 25. Okay. Kathleen Kelly gets a point. Nice job, Kathleen. Because I didn't want you to forget about that. That's something that you might... No, pretty soon, but not yet. We'll need the charger. And Ambrose Chamber Pot, Bill Murray. Nice job, guys. That was a good thinking of mine, though. That's something that you might overlook. You know, I went to... I had a friend, Sarge. I have a friend, Sarge. That I went to school with forever. And we stayed in touch here and there. Not as much as often now, but, you know, we're older. And his uncle... Sarge was from the well-to-do part of town. <laughs> He was the one that his parents went away for Christmas every year, and we would stay over his house, stay over Sarge's house unsupervised. But his uncle had a cabin up near Kent, Connecticut, more towards the mass border, a little north of Kent. And every year after Christmas, we would go up to that cabin, a bunch of guys and girls, and, and have unsupervised play. Play? Not every year, you know, occasionally when, when Jeff's uncle wasn't using it, let's say. When they were using it, we would just stay over Sarge's house. But we used to have like three weeks off for Christmas, it seemed. Remember back then, hon? Well, you went to Catholic school, so it's totally different. Yeah, it would be, you know, it was a big deal. You know, public school is like on a totally different schedule. Right. So about eight station wagons full of kids, high school kids. We were young, you know would drive up to near Cornwall, Kent, Connecticut area and go uh, to this cabin he had by a lake. All right? That sounds pretty. It would take a while to drive up there because there no, you had to go Route 7. There was no real highway going up there. Route 7 is just a two-lane road, like a main street. Is it more developed now? Like Probably more developed now. I, I don't know. I haven't been up there. Me and Carla have been up there, but we haven't been up there lately. This what was before I met Carl. What have you done for Carla. me lately? Right. And uh, the funny thing happened one year is Sarge said his, his, his uncle's not using it this year. Well, I'll go up. Let me see where this is going. So we got up there late at night, and we started running around screaming everything. You know, just carrying on as kids do. We brought a big boom box. We were playing music, 80s music, and uh, just carrying on. Alcohol may have been involved at that time for most of the, you know. And uh, we were running around screaming, turned all the lights on. It was right, looked over, looked the lake. It was beautiful. There was a couple cabins nearby, but, you know, they were all dark. So nobody would, like, hear you or anything. Right, right. We weren't disturbing anyone. Right. I mean, we were knuckleheads, sure, at that age, as all kids are, teenagers. But, but, no, but we, didn't, we weren't going to be, gonna be a, a jerk, right. And, and you know maybe kids kids were sleeping or somewhere no no one was there right as far as we knew right as far as you knew so what happened was we got up there say 11 11 30 we uh started cooking stuff you know they had a big grill outside it was cold out but we were, we were grilling anyway and everyone's talking loudly playing loud music everything and screaming to talk you know because we had the boom box loud and what happened was Jeff's uncle had two kids, and they were uh, at boarding school up near there. But boarding school was out for the Christmas season. I think it was Hotchkiss. Anybody who knows that area up there will know what I'm talking oh, about. Oh, that's expensive school, yeah, right? Yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. In around 1, 1 a.m., the kid comes wandering out of his bedroom. 
We didn't even know he was there. So he was asleep the whole time? He was asleep and, and, and frightened. Who the hell, was, who, who, who were we? Oh, my God. You know, it wasn't the area of cell phones. Right, right. You know, the phone was in the living room. Everyone was going crazy. It's like a party. Right, so you hadn't even gone into the bedroom. We didn't so even go into even the gone. bedrooms yet. No. Right. No, we planned on staying up till 4 or 5 a.m. Right, so it's, and you had stayed there before, so it's not like you were going to check him out or anything like right. that. Right, right. Right. Totally. But we didn't realize that his parents were, were, were going to be there in a day or two. Oh and this eighth God. grader was alone in the place. <laughs> and we scared the crap out of him. He didn't know who the hell we were. You know, he didn't see Jeff. He was hiding in his room. He <laughs> thought it was just, uh, you know, pirates or pirates. squatters or <laughs> pirates. Sudden. <laughs> and boy, we felt so bad because we didn't want to be a jerk. Right. And we apologized. He came out. He had some hamburgers and hot dogs with us. Right, right. And and Jeff said his uncle was livid. Oh my God. You know, he didn't rat on us. He just had to tell what what, what happened. So then did you ever go there again? Not really. <laughs> no, not really. That was the end of that, that. But Jeff was like, Sarge, that's Sarge. Sarge, his name was Jeff Sargent. But I can say that because Jeff. Why not? Right. It's not, you're not saying anything bad. Right. Not, and it's so know. long ago. It's not like <laughs> he's going to get in trouble now or anything. Right. But Sarge would do things like that all the time, like take his parents' boat out and then get it beached in Black Rock uh, Inlet there. Right. All these fiascos. Right. That was how he lived. Here we go. <laughs> that was how he lived. <laughs> that was how he rolled. Yeah. Here we go. Movie trivia, guys. Just that Johnny Azari reminded me of that time of year. Here we go. I think they liked it. Okay. Tom Cruise. Risky Business. What song does he lip sync to? Yeah, R.J. Wertheimer, exactly. Most of my family are gone. They all disappeared. Don't know where they are. They don't bother with me. I'm home alone every holiday. Doesn't bother me. I deal with it. Vincent, you have our chat family now. Exactly. Yep. Wasn't there a movie like that about a double booked Airbnb? I'm not sure, Holla. But well, Vincent, yeah, you have the chat family now. You're in good shape. Paul McDonough said, I sleepwalk, James. I scare myself in the mirror. <laughs> yeah, home invasion. Yeah, Manchan, it's like family guy to home invasion. I can still picture the place. James, you ever hear of Club Getaway? Yes. Yeah, that was up near Kent, but first coffee. Club Getaway was an adult away camp, honey. It was up near Kent in the, in the 80s. Hmm. They had ads for it in the, back of, in the back of Yankee Magazine. Remember Yankee Magazine? No. Did that ever get on, out on Long Island? Guys, do you remember Yankee Magazine? Now you're getting me off track. Yeah, Club Getaway, Kent, Connecticut. That's what I'm talking about, Buff First Coffee. And, the, and, and they're in the, ads were in the back of uh, Old Time Rock and Roll is the, is the trivia answer. Let me get back to that. You're totally off topic, James. Yeah, I'm gonna the the. And how's uh the the battery is okay? Yes, we're at twenty five percent still somehow. Okay, good. Yeah, but first coffee saying I wonder how many people are watching in their fifties, sixties, and seventies here. Quite a bit. Old time rock and roll. Green Eyes seventy three, I think, got it first. In Annie P. And Pookie Six. <laughs> so Pookie Six, Danny P, and Green Eyes. Green Eyes gets a point. According to my chat. Green Eyes 73, I think it is. Pookie Sixth. And Annie P. Okay. Nice job, you guys. Extra good. Right. Guys, those of you who know... Bridgeport, Connecticut. 
Oh, but First Coffee went there a few times. No way. It was for singles in Kent, Connecticut. Yeah. Yeah, remember Yankee Magazines? That's too funny. What a small world. Wendy said, yes, Yankee Magazine. I still have some. Oh, my God. There was a magazine called Yankee Magazine. It was an odd size. It wasn't the size of a typical magazine. Is that it was one smaller. of the ones that your father's remember, printing me- place called? Um, no, printed? he did Reader's Digest. Oh, okay. My dad. But not by himself. He worked for a big print, printing, I, I, I know, I printing know. plant. And, and, you know. Uh, but Yankee Magazine was a sign. Remember the old L Magazine here in Manhattan, honey, that he gave away L. free on the corners? The letter L Magazine. The little, little magazine. Yeah, it was that yes. size. Yes. Yankee was maybe slightly bigger than that. Yes. But well, first coffee said it was one of my favorite places to go as an adult. Yeah, you got a point, Green Eyes. Loved Club Getaway, but first coffee. That's so funny. JC, go ahead, let her rip. JC has a movie question. Today is guest question day. Not every Monday is going to be guest question day. I'll tell you that. Right now. <laughs> but JC, let her rip. Because it's so confusing. Guys, to JC you. has a question. Was Yankee Magazine about candles? Yeah, oh, it had plenty of articles about candles. <laughs> Who said that? Holla. Holla, you know what you know what kind of vibe it was. Candles, maple syrup. Maple syrup. You know, uh where Shetland to, sweaters. Where to get the best maple syrup? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, uh, a, a breakdown of Shetland sweaters available at the outlets. You know? Uh LL Bean duck boots articles on that. That was the magazine. Right. Which one was, is right. better? Right. Maybe a, a expose on Robert Frost. My uncle had a printing business on West 27th for decades, Wendy said. Oh, my God. That's too funny. What went on a club getaway, I'll never tell. Yeah, I bet. Hey, Ruby. That's what Buff Arks Coffee said. Hey, Ruby's popping in. So it's like what stays, like what's that, what stays With in? Vegas, yeah. Right. What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas kind of yep. thing. Brendan Nelson loved when Nicole Kidman did the scene in a t-shirt and boxer shorts on SNL, the, the risky business singing. Oh, Wendy, that's fantastic. Yeah, my dad was a printer for 35 years. Seriously, not just selling raincoats. <laughs> I found 1960s sheet music ARB set for Somewhere Over the Rainbow yesterday. Wow, I bet that's valuable. JC, did you ask your question yet? I'm losing track here. Same publishing company as Farmer's Almanac. R.J. Wertheimer, you get a point for that. Remember Farmer's Almanac, honey? Uh, I do. I do know Hey, that. Busy Bee popping in, doing housework, is listening to our podcast. J.C., let your hey. question rip. Guys, did J.C. Uh, JC, ask your question. Mystic Pizza, Mystic Connecticut. Yeah, that was a great movie. J.C., here we go. In the film When Harry Met Sally... Who played... Whoops, it all just faded away there. Hang on. Do you need the battery? 20% now. Yes, you can get me the battery. Hold on. Here we go. In the film When Harry Met Sally, who played the character of Sally's best friend? I know that's Carrie Fisher. Marjolene got it first. Marjolene, fantastic job. And JC, you get two points for asking the question. JC, nice job. And Marjolene, you got Carrie Fisher. Remember that show, Honey, Mystic Pizza, the movie? Sure thing. I like Lily Taylor. I don't know what happened to that big battery. Hey, Flo, pop it in. I caught the Channel 5 segment with the old New York. Saw your book. Oh, We'll be purchasing awesome. a few copies. Nice job, Flo. Hello. Nice. See if that's this starts. Microphone working. is changing. I just microphone. I didn't is go changing. to the big power one. I couldn't. I, I don't know. Microphone what is, is changing. I might have not have unpacked it yet. Yep. Yeah, broccoli says, "I'm here for you on the refrigerator." You see it over there, right? You see Beach Bum '88. You see broccoli in there. You see broccoli right in there in Hudson. He was a guy who took. I took to Times Square and watched the ball come down, and we stood in Times Square. Then, when we went to look for his car afterwards, his car had gone. Stolen. Oh, my God. But first coffee. That's a crazy story. Wait, what is this? What's this story from? Wait. But first, uh, about the, the uh, but first coffee went to Times Square. 
Gotcha. With, with a guy he met, I believe. Oh, at, from the club. I dated whatever. a guy from there whose father was one of the top judges in Boston. And but first coffee went to New Year's Eve in Times Square, and got the car it. got stolen. Understood. And thanks, Flo, for that. Just watching our thing. Thank you, Flo. Extra James, good. James, look under Real Loud, the pizza project. You will see me. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We will. Definitely. Yeah, we will. We will. Here we go. Serenity now. Who was the only actor to receive an Oscar? Nomination for acting in the Lord of the Rings movies. Who was the only actor to receive an Oscar nomination for acting in the Lord of the Rings movies? The only one to get a nomination. A nomination, yeah. Wow. I mean, I thought that they that was a I I I enjoyed watching. Brenda it. Nelson's been to Mystic, Connecticut twice. Ate a miss ate at Mix, Mi, Mystic Pizza. We went on a class trip, Brenda, to Mystic Seaport. They brought all the kids to Mystic Seaport, and we went on the ships and stuff. Aussie Fly Girl stopping by. Double Aussie glance. Fly Girl. Puzzle is back. I remember it's <laughs> it's yeah, it's a little rough. Aussie Fly Girl, it's a tough puzzle. But I'm, t I'm tackling it. I'm doing well. Zachary Fontaine's going on a cruise, 20th to 27th. We've been on that. It's, that'll be fun, Zachary. Oh, that sounds great. Fantastic. An extra good job. Yep. No one's got it yet. No one's got the uh, who was the only person to get an Oscar nomination. Ian McCulloch. There it is. Mark Cartwright got it. Paul McDonough got it first. Sorry, Ian. Paul McDonough got it first. Yeah, and Marjolein said Gandalf. That's close enough. Mm -hmm. Marjolein and Paul McDonough. Right, the characters is fine. Yep. Paul McDonough, nice job, you guys. Gandalf, you shall not pass. You shall not pass. I love pass. those movies. I went into that watching that series. Someone recommended it to us, and I'm like, oh, I'm not going to like this. This isn't my kind of thing, and I loved it. Yeah, you can't, I bet you're excited to go there. Nice cruise. Battery charging. Yep. You got it, Vincent. I used to visit Mystic, Connecticut when I went to the casinos there. Yeah, holla. On the way. And then one time, me and my friend went to go to Mystic Seaport Hunt. And it was like $40 each. We said, for, forget it. I mean, it was expensive back then. Oh, wow. And forget this. You can imagine. Yeah. I wasn't too excited to go anyway. But it was going because of me, so... Here we go. Let's do a Seinfeld. We haven't done a Seinfeld in a while. And then I'll show the view. Guys, when Jerry's playing, planning on buying a new car, what dealership does David Putty work at? How's that one, hon? Fair? Perfect. Love it. Jerry's looking to buy a car. He goes to a dealership, talks to David Putty. What dealership is that? Serenity now! Puzzle's going great. Thanks, guys. Why didn't Gollum get a nomination? I think I think Gollum did, Bella Estrella. That guy that does Gollum, what's his name? Andy Serkis. I believe he got nominated for not best, like not for acting, for the, doing the the uh, motion capture for Gollum. I think he got something, because he should have. Anyway, that was yeah. crazy. If he didn't, he should have. Hudson is funny snoring, Vincent Padgell said. Let's check in on the Hudster. Hi, Hudds. <laughs> Let's see who got it. Pinto, JC, nice. I'm gonna give I'm gonna give JC a point. He guessed that he went to the Pinto dealer, which would be nah. Ford. Justine, yeah, I get you. 
Lori Lou and Jay, throwing up the broccoli and food emojis. What dealership did Jerry go to to buy a car from David Putty? No one's got it yet. Yeah, I love that movie, Lord of the Rings. I thought they were great, the trilogy. Even The Hobbit's fun. What dealership did David Putty work at, guys? No one's got it yet, huh? I thought yeah. it was fair. I thought it was a great question. Nobody? Nobody. Eight ball cars, yeah. Pookie Six got it, stop. Yeah, and then someone robbed his tricks bar. T.A. Tickler said. Exactly. So who got that? Pookie Six got sob. Nice job, Pookie Six. Guys, we're having a good trivia today. We got about 15 minutes left in trivia today, hon. Carlos made a lot of headway on this puzzle, I'll tell you that. It's a tough puzzle. She got a lot done. I'm getting there, you know, li little by little. It's not yeah. It's not anything that you can uh, finish, you know, like in right. a day. <laughs> right. Here we go. Oh, Vincent Padre said, James, in Connecticut, I was at that Bring It Was Coming by the Mystic Pizza place. They had some ice cream shop there. Yeah. Vincent, they also had ice cream there. Yeah, by the bridge. Yeah, our grammar school went to Mystic Seaport on a bus. My Catholic grammar school. Inch by inch, life's a cinch, guys. Yard by yard, life is hard. Here we go. Serenity now! Movie trivia, guys. Movie. Movie trivia. Hmm. Who played Bruce Wayne's love interest, Rachel Dawes, in The Dark Knight? Who played Bruce Wayne's love interest? Rachel Dawes in The Dark Knight. Let's go. Oh. Lossy Fly Girl, question, James and Carla. I gifted you something sent to your email. I didn't have the address. Looked like a Florida one. You will have to open the email to get the gift sent to you. Carla Rock. Oh, Fly Girl. Fly Girl. Yes, thank you. We got it. We're going to open. I saw the email today. We're just catching up on our own meals. Thank you for the uh, membership for the cloud appreciation. Yes, yes. yes. Thank Fantastic you so much. Job. And we'll upload a couple of the cloud pictures a, that we have. Uh, uh, That's so awesome. So thoughtful. The Hudson um, party. We're going to mention it. We're going to be doing a Hudson party. Yeah, but we got that email and we, we didn't click the download yet to um to do it and then also to uh, upload some of our cloud Johnny photos. Johnny Azaria got it. So thoughtful. It was Gyllenhaal. Johnny Azaria TV, Gyllenhaal. Maggie Gyllenhaal. Maggie Gyllenhaal. Remember her in the movie The Secretary? Johnny Azaria gets a point. Nice job, Johnny. I'm going to keep on holding this. I'm like gripping it. ARB fell asleep in the theater watching that one. Here we go. Serenity now! Let's try another one. we got a couple more questions left, guys. Here's the Hudster hunt. What 1964 blockbuster... Did Julie Andrews win an Academy Award for Best Actress? Here we go. 64. Oh, I hear a lot of music again. Movie musical blockbuster. Julie Andrews, Best Actress for. Let's don't, go. Don't you hear it? Yep. Hudson says time to eat. Hudson needs a treat. Yes, he does, Jack. Nice call. Hey, Hudson. Hudson. Guys, Hudson. 
That's it. Uh oh. Nice try, Huds. <laughs> He's, he got it. He found it. Yep. Good boy, Huds. He's right by me. Good boy. No one's got it yet. Someone's got it. Marjolene. Got it first. Mary Poppins. The answer was Mary Poppins. Nice job, Marjolene. Extra good, Marjolene. Marjolene said Poppins first, and then added Mary. Mary. So, Marjolene, nice job. Mary Poppins. <laughs> nice place to go. I don't eat ice cream. My mother had it. Not an ice cream person. Gotcha, Vincent Padula. Hi, Huts. No, no, it's just a busy street out there, Zachary. It's not neighbors in the car. No, it's just normal, normal. Yep, cute ear flop, right, ARB? For Hudson? He's a very good boy. Here we go. Movie trivia, guys. Let's go. What you doing, Huts? Good boy. Hutz, I'd invite you up, but the last time you came up, you, you put your paws all over the, uh, the puzzle. Yep. And, uh, you know, I had to fix it. What is the highest grossing R movie of all time? Serenity Dog! Wow. All right. Yeah. But first, Corby said, that is not a dog. This is a human stuck inside a dog's body. <laughs> Never saw a calm dog like this. He's, he's always been this way. He's so sweet. Look at him peeking over. Mm -hmm. Hudson. Yeah. I, I, I would invite him up, but the last time I, he came up, like, you know, he, he undid all my, a lot of my puzzling genes. Hudson. Hudson. He undid the puzzling. Guys, I'm going to throw Hudson a treat. Honey, right. move your elbow. All right. So they can see this. He caught it. He got it. He caught it. Yes, he's, he's the just dog gonna, of the people. He's just going to stay right here now. You he know that. He enters the house like a conquering hero. James, you know he's not moving now. Right. He's going to stay right right there because he's just like, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm not. I'm getting treats. I'm staying right here. Highest grossing R movie of all time, guys. What was it? Beach Bump said Sound of Music was a second for Julia. Nice. Oh. Let's see who else. Uh, the highest grossing R movie. No one's seen it yet. No one says it yet. Oh, no one's gotten it yet? No. No, Johnny, no. Wendy got it. The Joker. Really? Wendy, yeah. Wow. Wendy. I did not know that. Wendy, Hudson's right here. Honey, call, call Hudson. Hudson, would you He's like another treat? Knocking my arm, so I can't can't go get him a different treat. How Wendy, about Wendy? Nice job. I know what he needs. Guys, the highest grossing R movie, according to my trivia thing, is The Joker. James, how about Wendy, a nice baked job. with bacon, egg, and cheese health bar? Yeah, that sounds wonderful. A health Hudson. bar for Hudson. Yeah. Oh, that's it. Guys. The uh, Seahawk Premium Yacht Finishes Pen. Has bit the dust. Let me, let me get you another pen. The pre Seahawk Premium Yacht Finishes Pen is done. Yeah, David Dunn, Joker. Yeah, he's a professional. We'll see if this uh, Sharpie works. Zazo Bob said, Florida says we miss you. Yeah, Zazo Bob. Oh, thank you, Zazo Bob. So nice job. Wendy, great job. Let me get Wendy, make sure it showed up. Yeah, it did. Good. He was amazing, Joaquin Phoenix in that film, Paul McDonough says. Nice. Nice, Zazo Bob, thanks for that. Okay, here we go. Serenity. 
Another movie trivia. Who voiced the sultry Jessica Rabbit in Who's Afraid of Roger Rabbit? Who voiced the sultry Jessica Rabbit in the movie Who's Afraid of Roger Rabbit? He's playing with his toy now. Yeah, he's playing with his potato chip bag. He rediscovered it. It's pretty sad. Hudson's treats taste better than James's new diet. Hey, yeah. here, here, Jack Rabbit. I'm giving Jack Rabbit a point for that. Finally, someone's noticing what I have to endure here. Yeah, the state. Jack Rabb, thanks for the, the commenting state of on the state of my, my diet. Yeah. It's atrocious now. T.A. Tickler. <laughs> Never guess who T.A. Tickler guessed. You could guess. No, who voiced the, yes. Zazo Bob got it. It was Turner, Kathleen Turner. Couple Tracy Lord's guesses. No. So also, Bob, nice job. Kathleen Turner. I liked Kathleen Turner in Romancing the Stone with Michael Douglas. Remember those movies that time? Those, those kind of movies were great, the adventure movies. Oh, yeah. Keith Haven said Paul Abdul. Straight up now to me. Nice job. Here we go. Guys, we got one or two left. Here we go. The battery is charging, honey. It's our oh, 40%. Extra good. Good to I know. I like these movie ones, don't you? Loving it. Loving, 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 loving it. Oh, I love this. You know, I'm going to love this. What James Ma Bond movie? 1979 features James Bond going to outer space. Woo! One of my favorites. Joker 2 is coming out. Yeah, Vincent Paschal with uh, Lady Gaga. Yeah, and Kathleen Turner's Supergirl was so good. Flo saying. Yeah, C-A-K. Rip off Indiana Jones. Exactly. That's what made it so fun. Romancing the stone. Ha! I'm giving a point. I'm giving... Who said that again? Uh, I'm giving a point. C-A-K-813, you get a point for that. Calling it like you see it. Romancing the stone. Yes, they got it. Moonraker. Let's see who got it first. Two minutes and counting. I think T.A. Tickler got it first. Let me see. The first person, T.A. Tickler and Margeline. T.A. Tickler and Margeline. Got it. Where's Margeline? Here's Margeline there. See, that totally looks like And T.A. Tickler. Nice job, guys. Moonraker. Two minutes and counting. Hmm. Every holiday season, me and Carla watch James Bond films for some reason. We did this year. We yeah. did it. Yeah, we did. Nice chat today. A nice warm day. I loved it. Thanks for that. Brenda Nelson saw Moonraker in the theater. I think I did too, Brenda. Way back when. Billy Ocean sang the song in the film Romancing the Stone. Paul McDonough, I knew that. Romancing the Stone. Goldfinger. Wow. Yeah, I'm let's do one put, more, guys. Here we go. Hey, why don't, if Joe Taylor, are you there today? Joe, are you still there? Let's finish the day the way we started. Joe Taylor, if you're there, you get the last question of the day. If you have one prepared. Joe Taylor, are you there? Are you, but, uh, and also, do you have a question? Oh, my God! Oh, my James. God! James! It's a monitor or something! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! James! Cyrillic Rider saying hello, everybody. Hello, Cyrillic Rider. 
We can't understand you, but hello. Enoch. Yes, Joseph Taylor. Last question of the day. Joe Taylor did the first, and he will do the last. Go ahead, Joe. Let her rip. Oh, Well, I have to get. Hey, Jenna. Panetto, popping in. Hey, Jenna. Hope you're having a nice Monday. Thanks for watching, Jenna. The goodies were good, too. All right, here we go. Joseph Taylor, last question of the day. Hmm. What is the rarely used first name of the cookie monster in Sesame Street? Wow. I have no idea. Joe Taylor. And I watched Sesame Street, but I have no idea. No Joe idea. Joe Taylor, I'm not sure. Joe, you're stumping me with this one. I think you're going to stump a lot of people with it. What do you think, James? You think, yeah. think our shot's going to know? Jenna says, happy Monday from Connecticut. Jenna, you know I'm from Bridgeport. I'm sorry, but I am. Thanks for popping in, Jenna. Beach Bum 88. Who got it? Beach Man. Beach Bum got it. And the, what's the answer? I want to know. The answer is... Wait up. Sydney. 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 The first name of the Cookie Monster. Beach Bum 88. Nice job. And that closes out trivia for Monday. April 15th, 2024. Nice job, Joe Taylor, today. Nice job, all our participants. Beach Bum, nice job. 88. Sorry, I forgot the 88. What a great day. Glastonbury, Connecticut. Jenna Panetto, I believe I ran a cross-country meet in Glastonbury, Connecticut. A, uh... Oh, just got that one. Invitational. Honey? Yes. And that closes out trivia. Extra good. Carla got a lot done on the puzzle today. Let me show you that. Yeah, you know, I mean... Let's it's... run down the score. Run down the score, James. Trivia today. The winner. It's a tie. A tie? It's a tie. Do we have a tiebreaker? It's a three-way... It's a... No, it's a two-way tie. Joseph Taylor and Margeline tied for first today. Wow. Joe Taylor and Margeline tied for first with nine points each. Nine times, Mrs. Bueller. But, you know, but we, we, let's give a third place because Joseph Taylor asked all the questions. That's where he got his so points. So that's where he got those points. Margeline and Bugundo. Right, so let's give, an, let's give another place because... R.J. Wertheimer came in third, if we do those two first. Okay, perfect. And tied with C.A.K. So you know, just, just because... R.J. Wertheimer and C.A.K. Are, are in a second place, and that's it. There's no third place today because we got all these ties. Perfect. Nice job, R.J. C.A.K., number two. Marjolene Joe Taylor, number one. Paul McDonough said, 11 p.m. here. Lightning just hit the local castle. Whack. Wow. Nice. Janice S. said, big goose egg zero for me. No, it's, no, it's just listening, Janice. It's, it's fun. all fun. It's all, you know, it's I'm all I'm going like, to run down the list. Here's what we got yeah, today, guys. Yeah, run down the list, James. And then Carl's going to wrap us up today. Joe Taylor, nine. Ambrose Chamberpot, six. CAK, one, three, eight. Oh. Oh. Marjolene, one. Oh, Joe so. Taylor did not tie Marjolene. Oh, okay. So there you Marjolene go. Marjolene had another point, an orphan point. Did I wrote Marjolene's name twice? Aha. Uh -huh. Marjolene, you won today with 10. So wait. So yeah, you just add, add do all additions because there could be other changes, James. Right. Marjolene won with 10 points. Oh, actually. Damon Dunn, one point. ARB, two points. TA Tickler, two points. Jeff STNY, Southern Tier, one point. MN, one point. Theodore T, four points. And if you're keeping your own score... Nick G, two points. Feel free to let us know. I think Nick G did the Irish goodbye. <laughs> Went to bed at some point. Josh Dean, five points. 
Patrick, two points. Jason Morris, two points. Rosie Wills, one point. T Time Tails, one point. Judy Z, three points. Will Fargo, one point. Pookie, sixth, four points. Asnap Boy, one point. RJ Wertheimer, eight. Wendy, four. Skeetings, one. Kristen Hansen, two points. Brenda Nelson, one point. Guitar by Sam, two points. Jack Rapp, three points. Annie P, four points. Mark Cartwright, one point. Holla got a point. Manchin got a point. Keith Perfect. Havens got a point. Keith, Kathleen Kelly got a point. Green Eyes 73 got a point. JC got three. Paul McDonough's got one. Paul McDonough, sorry, not McDonough's. <laughs> Johnny Azaria, Mr. Christmas got one. Zazo Bob got a point. And Beach Bum finished the day one point. Wow, so congratulations, Marjolene. Extra good for our first place. Nice Extra job. Good, Thanks, Marjolene. Abby. Nietzsche left. Kara just got home. Well, that's no problem. <laughs> Jack Rab, yeah, you got three points. Never even answered a question, Jack Rab saying. Yeah, there you go. Keeping me amused. Yeah, is see, but valuable. that's that's that that has awesome trivia today, guys. Thanks so, for joining wait, us. Do we bring up Mr. Hudson again? Yeah, bring over okay. the Hudson. Come on, Mr. Hudson. The moment you've been waiting for, but Thanks, maybe Vincent Patrick. Let's see if this time you cannot not um undo the um the puzzle this time. Wow, so I got a lot done. I mean, like, it's starting um, to really... I'm just teasing Nick G. Bellastrope. Don't you think it's starting we to really... We call it the Irish goodbye. Don't you think that's it's really starting to come together? City boy. Loves blondes. We're, we're big blondie fans. James. Thanks, guys. What did you say? It's really coming together? Yeah. So, Hudson, come on up. Let's Get give Hudson you a treat. over here. Hudson. Give my health bar. Come. Thanks, Hearts Wild. Or wait a number one position today. I'm going to give him a burger. Hudson. Ooh. The Rachel Ray Nutrition Burger Bite. Yeah, Vincent, I'll get myself cooled down now. Oh. I'll have a nice uh, seltzer. Lemon lime seltzer. Here comes no Mr. Calories. Hudson. No nothing in it. Here comes Mr. Hudson. It's bubbly water with a little taste to it. Up. Oh. There he goes. Look, burger for Hudson. Yeah, here we go. Nice so, job, guys. guys. Thanks for watching. We hope you Annie enjoyed P. this. Annie P. loved the variety of movie questions. Thanks, we, Annie P. We hope you enjoyed this video. Please nice seeing you again on Monday. Give it a thumbs up and uh, leave a comment below on... Oh, window view. Oh, yeah, window view. Perfect. First Hudson. Thanks for the super chats and thanks super stickers. Thanks for the super chats and super, super stickers. stickers. Really guys, I'm going to sign more. off at the window. Thanks, Brenda. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you soon. Thanks, guys. We'll, we'll be doing you. a Hudson unboxing birthday treat day. Yeah, we'll announce when we're going to do, um, we're going to have an official Hudson birthday party. Thanks, so, everybody. So, good night, guys.